Yeah, shout out, shout out to the sub, shout out to the 430. We got Blaze on today, dude. Oh shit. What's the 430? Uh, that's just every the amount of subscribers we have. Oh yeah, okay, good. So what like every have, what did we have for news on last time? What did we have? For I that? don't know. You guys were at least half of that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so like every episode, we shout out uh, how much subs we got. Okay, awesome. And then once we get to like a a, a million, I'm gonna do a super cut of <laughs> shout out to two to five to ten to twenty. Okay. Two hundred. I'll be here. Five hundred for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So shout out to the four thirty as we kick uh, off. Yeah today's episode hey let's get uh let's get some let's get the bottles going i got i actually got i actually got a gift for you dude hold on really yeah yeah that's yeah. crazy because i came bearing gifts today for today's episode too oh shit y'all know y'all know liquor is dangerous with me right like i, I explained that damn okay so this is when i don't got to do anything for a week yeah uh, Bro, nice gift, bro. I appreciate it. Wait, no, you, no, that's not for you, dude. Oh, it ain't? Oh, that's for me, dude. <laughs> so this is the gift. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I'm look, lost here. here. Look, watch. I'm, I'm fucking lost and I'm sober, dog. That's not good. No, no, no. This, I, this is for me. Okay, <laughs> well, we're like put in front of me. And I'm like, well, you know I don't do liquor, right? Yeah, that's why. That's, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. why we didn't get that. But yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was going through your um through your Facebook today. Okay. And I seen you like that movie, Howard the Duck. <laughs> you do, right? So you want to bring that up? All right. No, no, no. So look, oh, yes, I yes. got this. I got this book. This Howard the Duck comic. Oh my god! So that's for you. You're, I, you're kidding me right now. No, I, 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 I buy. I like to get my he comics buys, away. He buys comics. Yeah, yeah. You're serious? Yeah, I like to give them away to people. So just, what? What year is this particular one? Uh, uh it? it's, it's no, a, it's, it's an omnibus. They're, they're new ones, dude. It's got like it's got like five, different, six different uh, Howard the Duck stories in there. Wow! Thank you. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, my brother. Alvaro Tijerina, bro, that's like one of the few people who grew up with me all my life on Elm Street. Uh, he lived on the next street over. Yeah. Um, and his family is my family, of course. And he and I and our little brothers would watch Howard the Duck on VHS yeah, 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 yeah. along with Rad, along with fucking Gleaming the Cube. You guys ever hear that's a skateboard movie, actually? Yeah, it doesn't sound know. like it, yeah. but it's I, a fucking I've, skateboard I've, movie. Honestly, I've never seen the movie, but how, I like Howard the Duck wow. as a character, dude. Yeah, He's yeah, pretty wow. dope. Thank you, guys. And no, yes, and uh, well, Gremlins on VHS. And oh, Gremlins, Gremlins, yeah. Just kind of having a flashback here, but yeah, that's how that came up on a Take It Back Tuesday, because I always post something on a Take It Back yeah. Tuesday before I start the show, and this motherfucker took it back, and you literally have blessed me today by taking it back with a... With if, a if you if book. you take off the sleeve it, in the uh there's so like there's a different picture on the on the on the, on court, the, on the cover yeah oh snap yeah it's pretty dope, wow yeah. well yeah that explains the price on this fucking thing i just saw i mean I'm, i don't know what you did to get it if you gave up some ass cheeks or what I, oh, I, I, i'm I, definitely uh appreciative well the, I, 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 <laughs> you know better than i do so yeah we're going with that, one. Going with that one now i buy comics every tuesday and uh, they're they're usually like half off. So where do you usually go buy comics at? I I just go online. It's just oh, website okay, called Stock Trades. Okay, well, cheers to this gift. And and like I said, I'm not the only one. All right, receiving gifts. I thought I'd bring you guys some gifts as well. Let's toast to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you give us a gift, I since I got you all buttered up, I I needed you to do something for me. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Right I got now would be the time. I got a list of uh, uh sponsors and uh <laughs> shout outs that I need you to read off for me, you know? <laughs> Let's do it. It's like uh, like a couple car audio places. <laughs> and, uh, I'm proud of you. I'm you know, and the, nah, I'm, I'm fucking around, I'm fucking around. Uh, <laughs> also when you be like, what the you fuck? Got, <laughs> no, you got me excited. I'm like my no, 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 the no, business no. side of this podcast is happening. No, no, yes. no, no, no. I was fucking I was fucking around and fucking around. Yeah, the brother-in-law wants a shout out though. Oh, yeah, my buddy, our, our brother-in-law, Eric, when he, he's all he's excited. Saying, he's saying, yeah. Eric, what's up, Eric? Carnal? I hope you're doing well. Oh, you're out there uh, <laughs> smashing all your goals, achieving everything, and just getting on your next level, man, because really that's, at the end, you discover that that's really what life is about at the end of the oh, day, shit. man. You know, so that's, you move forward with good, the family, man. give something back to your kids, and, and then we're gone, man. Wait, he doesn't have any kids yet. <laughs> he's with my sister, you know? He's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, stay he's, that way, bro. <laughs> Let's stay that way. Y'all enjoy yourselves together. Well, we're doing gifts. You buttered me up. You fucking lied. That was yeah. cool. Uh, so I got some gifts for you guys, uh, yeah. too. So, you know, I, I don't know if y'all know I rep, but Ooh, all right. hey. I rep, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you guys are going to be oh, doing hey, over here. I was just saying I needed a new you hat. You know what I'm too. saying? But let's go. Uh, baby. Courtesy of me and my brother at Creative Threads, Ooh. my brother, Tech Rosenberg. Hell yeah. And, um, you know, this is the side of this podcast I want to see you guys start building on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, really repping the set every time you come up. And, and, and show the people your talent and just show them that, you know, you guys are on your next level as well. You know, oh, those hats yeah. look good on you, man. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a stash of some stuff I had left 
around. I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate it to the cause because I said I would, and I've been, I didn't realize it was gonna take a year for me to come back, but it's actually pretty good, man. Because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm proud that it's your second year anniversary for my Oh yeah, yeah. Band. Is that right? Well, it was last week. It was last week. Right, yeah. but we're still on two years. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you guys getting all punctual on me and shit. Knock it <laughs> out. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm back to give you, hopefully. The second half of my fucking trials and tribulations. This time it won't be so much with life in general. It'll be more of my career. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and what sure, it took yeah. to build Blaze right. Alvarez as one of the I don't know what to call me at this point, but one of the baddest motherfuckers on radio that ever showed up oh, because yeah, for yeah. sure. No one was really doing what I did even when I was just the sidekick. You know, I was that sidekick that was always so like you started off as shit. a what, be, sidekick. Nice oh yeah. When when it, I, I started off at nights. Well, let's let's start from the scratch, oh, right? Yeah. So. I saw the interview. I had to go back to catch up where the fuck we left <laughs> off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I basically came back in about 01. Oh, that's what I forgot. Damn. But I had some memorabilia. I'm going to take a piss. Go oh, for shit. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell the story without you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we'll edit that. No. Um, I came back. Elm Street was in shambles. It was definitely a real nightmare on Elm right, Street. Right, yeah. My yeah. family had fallen apart, yeah. and I'm talking the entire family. Like, there's like four families yeah, where I grew up drugs, at. Drugs, rampant, drugs were rampant. And, Bro, yeah, the, the yeah. takeover, the epidemic, yeah, man. Yeah, Talk yeah. about a real epidemic, right? Yeah. And um, so as I attempted to try to sober uh, my family members up, I, I attempted to sober up myself too, yeah, you know? And, yeah. I, and although I had graduated and had a radio broadcasting diploma, yeah. Uh, I, I was like, I gotta fix this somehow, some way. You know what I mean? This is destroying my families and dumb. Mm -hmm. I knew they weren't gonna stick around. We went into a men's <laughs> home where my brother RJ had kind of grew up uh, for some time, and I, these guys just didn't even stay one night, dude. They just oh, couldn't shit. take it. They were just couldn't be that sober. Dang. But I made a promise to myself at that time that I was gonna at least sober up, right? For me, because I was wilding, but I wasn't out of control. You know, I was just wilding, and I thought I'm trying to tell my brothers. To not do this, but yet uh, I'm doing yeah, this yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, too? I, it's it's kind of crazy when you see people like that, or you know, you see people that are just going and going, and they're Bro, just drug, drug all the time. It's you, like, let like me you, just tell you guys something, man. People, you're gonna you drop like flies, man. Eventually, yeah. you're, you you can't do that no, forever. Your you body can't. won't allow you to do those no, things, it, you know. No, no, and I'm glad I slowed my rope when I turned forty, and I'm forty five <laughs> barely. But uh, so yeah, but I uh, but. So I stay in this men's home and I did sober up. I stayed there 30 days just enough to sober up and get some clarity. And I, I really strongly believe that God gives everybody a moment of clarity to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to give you an, a better understanding of who or what you're supposed to be. And that's what happened to me in that moment of clarity. And so I, yeah, yeah. I, I get out of there in 30 days. Uh, I knew Steve Rocha, who at the time was at 107. Hot 99.7 was a baby. It's probably been there a year or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I went to both stations, but I really thought 107 was going to oh, hire me because I knew yeah, yeah. Rocha, right? I knew Rocha from like art class in 96 and shit. We had like <laughs> the same art class. He was like a senior at that time yeah. or something probably. No, sorry. More like 93, 92. But, hey, uh, hey, well, hey check this out. You know your neighbors play music? Yeah. yeah. yeah the yeah, live band out there. We're in the wrong part. We didn't even yeah, I was like, I was like those guys are getting down right now. Yeah. When he came in? Nah, oh, nah, nah, and that's nah. crazy because I got a neighbor literally like that fucking uh -huh. far away kitty corner from me who practices hey. live band yeah, yeah. all week long. I'm like, yeah. dog, <laughs> fuck. It's pretty good. They don't do it all week, but they're out there twice or three times a week. That's cool, but, but me, God I mean, damn. for me, I'm right now, I'm like, cool, hell yeah, I like yeah, it. No, and it's a Friday. It's a feel good Friday. Yeah, I ain't yeah. against that. But damn, over the homies, sometimes, you know, <laughs> they it go hard on, on my it block. Depends. They don't do it late at yeah, night. Yeah. It's during the daytime. Like, well, we, I mean, we party here late at night. Yeah, we do shit like that. Yeah, but you ain't fucking bringing the whole fucking hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of low, but it, anyway, moving forward. Uh, but yeah, there's a party out here. We're gonna keep this party yeah. rolling. So, Steve, so you were you were Steve Rocha? I, well, he was at 107 at the time. He was yeah. the PD, and uh, I just thought because he knew me, I was gonna get on there faster than yeah, yeah. Hot, which was at that time definitely more of a hip hop station. You know yeah. what I mean? And um, yeah, I was fucking wrong. Yeah, <laughs> nobody fucking called me. 107 didn't call me. Steve so never answered. Were you trying to get out? You wanted to be on 107? At or that you point, just were taking, trying I, to get I, anywhere? I had already been home a few months. Yeah, yeah. And I needed to get on somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had quit uh, the job I had so I could uh, practice sobriety with my little brothers. Because you missed it when you went to go take a shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That we went into a men's home to sober up. And they didn't even stay a day. But in my heart and soul, I already told myself that I was going to sober up for myself. And you stayed? Yeah, I stayed uh, 30 days. I stayed a yeah, whole yeah, month, yeah. bro. And, and I was just... Telling the homie about what clarity. Is, what is the what is yeah I, I caught I caught the end of that. Right. What, so, what is the what is the at the sober home? It's like just for men. 
Uh, well, there's different. It's in the halfway house, right? I mean, it's 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 a. It's like a like a juvie, like you know how that group, juvie, they, like a, like, and juvie they have a group it, home or whatever. Like a group home, I would say. Kind Look, of like a group home, right? I, it, yeah, it's a Christian men's home, and wow. obviously you're there to practice the Bible and the Word, and they got jobs for you. Just don't hang out with your feet kicked up all fucking day. You, yeah. you know, there's the the guy in charge has like side jobs, and that's how this money gets. You get funded food and other things, obviously donations and things yeah. of the sort, but. At that time, it was really more like, hey, yo, you can't live here for free, Blaze. And you got five minute showers and you only eat three square meals a day. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's it's like a jail, huh? Uh, it's just regulated. Let's call it yeah. that. Let's call it that. Because you can leave when you want and come back as long as you don't come back all twisted call, and trying to get people to jack jobs. So, no. Rehab, but I mean, you're using you're using the Lord and the word to, 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 oh, for that yeah. sobriety. And, and and that's what it did to me. I, I, I It gave me sobriety, man. And um. Well, like I said, I reached out to 107 and, and hot and motherfuckers never called me and I reach out again. They still don't call me and uh, another month passes by. And I think it's like the third visit. And I finally just tell the gal at the front, my friend Gail now, my radio sister, uh, she's still working the front desk. And I told her, hey, so if money's the issue, who do I talk to about doing this for free? <laughs> yeah. Which I wouldn't realize would come and kick my ass. 15, 10 years later, right? We'll get into that free shit later. But um, she was like, wow, this kid is serious. He's already came back three times and he really wants to talk to somebody and get on. I said, man, if y'all just give me an opportunity, I'll show you what I can do. I, I, I won't have to talk. So they set up a meeting. Gail did. She reached out to my radio dad. I didn't know he would be that then, do we? Uh, and Matt Foley was the PD for oh, Hot. Oh, Matt Foley! Yeah, and yeah. and you heard of that guy? Matt Foley. He was on the radio for. He was on the radio with him. They both did a. They yeah. Both had a so. He was the PD, which is the program director, the guy in charge of the station. And um, Dewey's kind of like the head up, the operations manager. Basically, he runs the whole ship. So they do have a meeting with me, and we have a conversation. And, and it's cool because in the last interview I watched, again, you know, I explained to you guys that I was pretty transparent with them about my, my past and my lifestyle. Oh, yep. And that I wanted just a different opportunity to do something different. If they would give me the opportunity, I would show them and prove yeah. that. I'll be their man. And but so I mean, but you, at the same time, you didn't have to do, you don't have to say any of that, like that, of the, your background, of like no, what you've been no, through. No, no, I just, don't. Just being super transparent. Huh? I had to. Yeah, I had yeah. to. It's because I just know too many people. And, bro, my posse's big. You know, my yeah, posse's yeah. like 20, 30 deep at that time. And we're all fuck ups, basically. But, yeah, I, yeah. but I just got out of sobriety. You know, I'm sober right now. I, I did 30 so days in a minute. When you got sober, did you, did you like, cut yourself off from all your buddies or no? You have to. Yeah. You have to, man. And, 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 and at first, everybody's rooting for me, but you realize that <laughs> they, kinda, they, they, they can't grab you by the hand and take you to go make these moves. Uh, yeah, you have yeah, to get yeah, the fuck yeah. up and go bust them, these moves yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm yep, saying? Yep, yep. And that's what I ended up doing. But I did that right after I got out of the men's home because I still had clarity. And God had given me the vision that I was going to be something, you know, and, you know, he basically told me, I'm going to put you to do something you never thought you could do. Because I, yeah. like I told you guys, I never thought I was going to be on the radio. I love music. I love partying and doing all that hip hop stuff. I just never saw myself on the radio because I really saw myself in front of the camera being a funny guy. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm transparent with them. They're like, all right, well, let's get you rolling, you know, and so. Back then, the good old days, you would do sticker stops. Basically, you would give away stickers, stop in the city, or go somewhere and hand out free shit. Oh, okay. And that's how I started. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, that's, like, that's a good promotional tool even now. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But budget, yeah. there's this thing called budget, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. people don't understand it, even <laughs> though they're the, they, they, that's the, the fucking key of everything. Yeah, you, you gotta know, pay but, for that shit. Right, but it's worth it. Yeah, and to this day, I still get people asking me for stickers, bro. It's insane. Oh, really? But, <laughs> so that's how I started radio, handing out stickers. I was going to this town, and as I was hopping from city to city and town to town because for like he was he did it for like a month straight to to we were qualifying people for some sort of tickets or something but i was giving away stickers on top of qualifying people and um you know uh that was all free but i didn't really have a car i didn't have no wheels then at that time because i had sold my shit in arizona to get back home is, is that know? is that something you think you're good at just approaching people like cold like cold like almost like oh, cold yeah. calling like, Absolutely. you know, like, just approach them on the street, like, yeah. oh, hey, what's up? And, and nowadays, it's a little harder to do, because everybody's scared of everybody at this well, point. I mean, well, now people know you, so it's, uh, I mean, well, it is well, easier, but. Yeah, if you know me, it's easy, but if you don't know me, you see me just tatted it up, yeah, and then yeah, you hear yeah, my yeah. voice come out of this crony-ass body, and then you're like, what the fuck? And then it's like, wait, 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 hold on, let me talk to you. And it's just, people are weird now. They're just, I mean, you know, yeah, I enjoy a good conversation. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. talk to random motherfuckers. I met, like, a hundred new friends when I went to Vegas this year for oh, my birthday, shit. so. That's all, honestly, that's all we do. Everywhere we go, we just run into someone oh shit what's up like i was talking to this guy last night 
at Winco at like four in the morning. <laughs> he was all fucking. Those are the best conversations. Yeah, actually. yeah. He was all yeah. fucking drunk, and he's all. Oh, oh. And I was like, I know you. I've seen you before. And he's like, Oh yeah, so I seen you at Bruce. He's all, I was probably acting up, huh? Okay. I, was, I was like, Yeah, you were, dude. You were actually standing in front of the dartboard, laying on the board. I couldn't even fucking play. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I should have kicked him in the nuts, man. Think, he would have moved right away. What is that? A talent? Is that a gift? Is that something that you just had? Like you? Um, able to talk I think. To anybody? I, think what is I it? just. I, I'm just. I just. I'm not afraid of people, and and, and I've always liked to entertain people. Yeah, and then yeah. As I got older, and I just found my lane being funny. That was just what I love to do: make people laugh and just smile and just. I mean, I'd be having the most random conversation with the most random people. I'm talking, it could be a 90-year-old lady. It could be yeah, a six-year-old kid. It could be a whatever. And um, I will have conversations. And so yeah, yeah. it was really easy. But what made it easier is that people knew me from my history here, from all the parties and, yeah. and everywhere I'd been. And so so people just kind of knew me. So it made it easier for me to oh, really yeah. get embraced. Well, you know, when you, when you start listening to people, like they listen, listen to you on the radio and stuff, you get to like feel like you know that person and, after doing it for so like, yes. you know? Long time. Absolutely. Just... At that time, though, I wasn't on. I was didn't even have oh, a shift. Yeah. I'm the the fucking but, sticker mule at that point. But you still were. You still were like. You still had that in you, like, because you're at parties and meeting new people. Right. Like, right. I, I. The reason why it's pretty easy for me because I used to. I used to roll up to bitches all the time. <laughs> I just be like, Yo, what's up? What's your name? And then what's the, up, bitch? Nah. Yeah. I mean, Dave. Sometimes if that. If I mean, sometimes I've there. I've sometimes I've gotten bold with it. You know, dude, Which but, isn't cool. But, yeah, yeah, dude. But then depends. sometimes it works out. Sometimes, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, I, sometimes these females want that. Yeah, yeah. straight up. There's a been little more. Uh, yeah, there's been times where I was at the club and then I was just with the girl and I'm like, "Yo, you trying to go fuck right now?" And they're just like, "That's like, I just that's all I said to them." And they're just like, "Well, they look at me and they're like, right now, yeah, let's well, let's get out of here. I'm on. You're a whore. Fuck, let's go." So, but because I've been there, but I knew a motherfucker at least a week or two or a day or something. No, but you know, I've been like working the lock for a little bit or something, you no, know. No. And then, I, then I hit him with but that. But the thing line, is, but... the reason why I'm able, the reason why I, I, I'm, I'm able to, man. Well, I, I've I've only I've been. To, there's different tactics to different girls you gotta use, dude. Come on, dude. That's what I meant yeah, a moment yeah, ago. Yeah, like some yeah. women like to be called a that, bitch yeah, or yeah, aggressive yeah. words. They don't like to be yeah. called honey and baby yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They like not to be white or something. Nah, 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 they don't want to be white yeah. and die. And those are the ones I want. You want to be 69? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> you ladies know, man. Fuck the small talk. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, I don't. Hey, I'll small talk all day. I don't care, dude. But what I'm saying is the reason why I'm I've never really felt uncomfortable going up to random people and. Because I'm like, dude, I fucking get turned down by like yeah, ten yeah, girls in one yeah. night. All you need is the one, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why I get ten. I've been, I've been getting turned down in my whole life. So if I'm in, the, if I'm in a fucking, if I'm in the fucking checkout out, and someone has a bottle that I've never tried it from, like, oh, how is that? Is that good? And then she's like, while you're staring at her ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about your bottle. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, it's good. And then so we talk about the bottle, and then you know, and then and then I hit her with that. So you want to so fuck right fuck now? Or what? Like, can I at least finish? Checking out a Walmart, the self checkout. Damn, I'm trying to get out of here, dog. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from you, actually. No, uh, but you're right. Yeah, the gift of gab, man. Some people have it, the some people fucking gab. don't. Yeah. Some people just have the courage. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as you're not afraid, I mean, you, you just got to move forward with whatever your intention is to have, whether it's women, yeah, 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 a job, yeah. a career. Yeah, sometimes you got to be whatever. careful. Sometimes you got to be careful when a guy comes up to you. Because, like, it's happened to me hella times where a dude comes up to me, Talk to him too. and I'm like, oh, what's up? Hey, dude. Oh, yeah. Cool guy. Cool guy. Whatever. And then, Next thing you know, it turns out to be like a gay dude, they're and like, they're like, you want to fuck? Hey, you well, wanna fuck? Yeah, yeah. They do it to me, dude. And I'm all, I, was, I thought we were just being friends, bro. What the oh, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't like it, though. No, I don't know. Hey, I need to be wined and dying, dog. I need them to wine and dine me, dude. Before he gets the finger in the butt, you're yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, he's yeah. got to get wine and Yeah, dine. hey, yeah. I need to at least get out the check out. Out, dude, before something. you're trying to get something. that, dude. at least uh, take you off for a good time before the real good time. Yeah, yeah, happens, yeah, right? yeah. I had an ex-girlfriend, a Mexican girl. She was from Michoacan. All she spoke was Spanish. From this guy. Yeah, yeah. And we and we met in the fucking oh, dude. Or some shit yeah, yeah, there, yeah, Right. And I brought her here. And I was hanging out there, and she goes, "Your brother? She's he? Uh, what she goes is that he's got a he's, your brother? He goes, tiene buena lengua." And I'm like, what? What do you mean? Tiene buena lengua? What do you mean? There's like, oh, yeah. oh he, he's got a. He, he's, oh, el verbo, oh, yeah, the gift of gab. Well, dude, well, dude, I thought he had you know, already like, put that tongue to work on your cat. <laughs> you're just not finding out about it. I was like, wow, y'all do keep it family and in the circle here. Shit. I wish you would have told me that, dude. I could have used that tongue on her. That's why I didn't tell you. <laughs> he's like, motherfucker, I already knew you was a fucking Yo, was chick. Well, because she, he was here, and then I, because I used to, I used to bring girls here when, because I didn't live here, and 
Jack yeah, yeah, at the so time, right? Yeah, it was Trash's place, of course. Well, I, no, I lived in the study side at the time, you know? I know, but it was a safe haven, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I would come to Yakima, I would come to Yakima, grab a girl, uh, and, and then I'd bring her down here, you know? So I brought a girl, and I just banging on the door, boom, boom. And then my brother opens the door, he has a chick, I'm like, oh, damn, what's up with this girl's better than my girl, or bro? Something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or something. Hey, and then, uh, and then I think we talked for a little bit, and then I, and then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to... I'm, we're going to the garage, dude. You know, right? <laughs> we're gonna go fuck in the garage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that's what and she that's told me. Yeah. She she your brother got one lingua, and I'm like, so well, yeah. Well, uh, oh, the, hold on, let me finish the story with this chick, <laughs> yeah. okay? So that girl actually, I was gonna meet. Uh, I was on a date with another girl when I met her, the one I ultimately brought to the garage. You didn't go on that date with that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, I, don't care. Uh, I just want to make sure you're telling the story right. Uh, oh, oh, I mean, I, a lot. Okay, I'll tell the truth, right? <laughs> so I was in the car with this guy, right? This is, okay, this is the correct story. <laughs> no, I'm lying. Now. Okay, so I, so I was going to meet this girl. You know that bar? It's a Mexican bar by uh, Ray's. I think it's closed down. Oh, there oh, used to be third. one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one right up the street? Yeah, yeah. Or the laundromat? No, the third, third, the and, same, third and knob. On the same uh, area. Uh, wow, no. I, I've it's, never it's, been to it there. Third oh, and, the it Faro. The, uh, no. no uh, third and, I think it was, Carreta, it was I in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carreta, Dude, so I went into, uh, so I, there was this chick. I was meeting her on a date. She, so she said, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm like, let's go inside. So I can't go inside with you. I was like, what are you <laughs> talking about? You can't go inside with me. She's like, well, I can't go be seen with just me and you in the bar together. I'm like, oh, so she's got a man or whatever. Right. I don't care. You know? Of course you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then she's like, well, we're going to wait for my friend. I'm like, well, when's your friend coming? She's like, I don't. She should be here at all. Oh, I'm not going to yeah. sit in the car with you uh, and talk to you <laughs> and wait for your friend. I'm car just talks gonna... are awesome, man. I'm, what the, what's wrong with this guy? Right, so, this, this guy wants to be wine, dine, 69 right, and, right, and whispered in the ear. But when it's his turn, right, right, I just want to drop them drawers and fucking fuck pound away. Oh, and dude, day. Well, the bar is I'm trying to go party, dude. Word. So I go inside and I sit at the bar. And then and then I just there's a chick right next there, to me. Yeah, I was about to say, really, what you're thinking is I gotta go find me a backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This fucking yeah, chick. Pretty much, dude. Out. Yeah, so then, I'm with you on that. So then I'm talking to the girl, and then she finally comes up with her friend like an hour later, and then she comes up to me, she's all mad at me. And I'm like, well, what, bro? Like, uh, what do you want me to do? Stay First of all, you didn't give me a hand job in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you want to do is talk. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Going to my next game. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's the next play, coach. <laughs> and, and the girl was like, why are you with my man? Why are you with my boyfriend? I'm all, yeah. bitch, I'm not your boyfriend. I'm all, all right, yeah, this is my girl. Actually, I had a girl the whole time, you know? And then that's when I brought her home here. Got you. <laughs> then you guys ended up here with the new girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart move. Hey, it worked out for you. Smart. I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you had a plan and executed, plan right? B, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Plan B, you know? And just like that plan, you know, and, and, and the gift of gab, you just got to know in the position I was in, I, yeah. I got to go talk to people, you know? Yeah, I was yeah, already yeah. good with talking to people and just kind of were kind of going off for yeah, yeah. a little bit. But that's how you got it in, literally. Yeah. And that's how I got it in, literally, you know, in the radio. Just so, and I was saying I didn't have a car at that time either. So I'm honestly in the hood with no car because I had sold the, what I owned in Phoenix to move back. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I would basically steal a homie's car. I would lie and say I was going to go buy his beer, go get a sack oh, or something. Oh, yeah. And I would oh, cut out, go do the, the sticker stop, and then come back. I'd be so, back like so, in two hours. Wait, so hold on. You would steal his car to go do errands, bro? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. do the sticker oh, stop. You know what I mean? That's that's work, and those are errands. Yeah, yeah well, I okay, can't. I guess the I errands. thought you steal the car to go pick up a girl or fucking. I wouldn't do that to a female cops, put her in a situation like go that. Go cop yeah, some yeah, fucking no. drugs or something, you know? It was time for me to bust moves, and it was time for me to show and prove hot that I was the right pick. And so, um, not that they had a big old pick of a, oh, a big old litter to pick yeah. from, but I had gave my word that I was gonna prove to them that th that I was their man. And so, yeah, I had no wheels. My homies did. And while we're, while they're, and I, it could be in the middle of us just sipping and smoking or whatever in the back porch. And I would get the call from foe like, hey, you down to go do a sticker? Like literally like 20 minutes before it's time to go do this. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, you're going to be there? Just call me at this What, well, that guy, Matt Foley, huh? Yeah, because he was my PD. He was really the only guy on the station was at that he, time. Was he uh, uh, outgoing as well, out there, or getting, giving no, stickers? No, no. So that's why he needed you, huh? Well. <laughs> yeah, he did. It, it could have been anybody. <laughs> no, but, but, like, he, he needed you because you were willing to go listen. talk to well, random people. But we needed each other. Let me yeah, tell yeah, you yeah, why. Yeah, 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 yeah. We needed somebody to run the board at the station who knew how to do yeah. and run a radio station. No, I'm saying just the sticker part of the job, yeah. 
the other half of that is he did need somebody to hit the streets yeah, yeah, because yeah. he couldn't. He's a one man band, so yeah. yeah, I can be the guy to go hit the streets and call up and tell people what we're doing. Yeah, out be, here, yeah, be a little more charismatic out, out in public. Huh? Word, word. And he is a, more of a shy guy, but as we got but to know I'm, each other and build each other, you know, I we just bought the brought the best yeah. out in each I'm other. I'm sure on the mic, I mean? he's probably not. I mean, you can't. You probably couldn't tell he's like a shy person if he's on on radio, right? On no. radio, they had a pretty good. Show yeah, because that guy, what's that other dude, D Res? Uh, oh yeah, he's, he's not on my team. He's no, I know, but now, yeah, I know, but that guy Drez, he's kind of similar. Like, I he, he, he in, in, the... in person, he's kind of like a timid, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, laid yeah, back, more type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the radio, I don't think he would really. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I honestly, I never heard him on the radio, but yeah, yeah. yeah he Drez is a great guy. Shout yeah. out to Drez, I've known yeah, yeah, him no, forever, he and he's always yeah. showed me love and respect everywhere we run into each other. Even yeah, he got he got mad at us though. Oh, he got mad. He got mad at me. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it. Let's go. Yeah, you, well, but because I, well, I apparently I put his name wrong on the no. thing, and he oh, got when you had him in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put yeah. D E E or something. I, I don't even know what I did, but I, oh. I don't know. I was like, oh shit, sorry. I'll, I'll fix it for you, dude. I don't know because because I seen him. He was DJing at the roller rink, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said he told you that. He's shit like, hey, dude, you got my name wrong. I'm all sorry, dude. All right. I think it was like D Dash Rez or something. Like let's say it's the other way around, and motherfucker invites you to their show, and they play your dick face instead of fucking the fucking. You know, <laughs> MMA fighter and shit. You're like, hey, my name's not Dick Face. Well, it looks like it. Oh, well, that's not how you spell my name. So, you honestly, know, honestly, I don't get I wouldn't. That to me, you know, I'm I wouldn't that care. I've, me, I've, yeah. I've gotten this interview. So, I'm sure he was flattered that he was asked to get it. Well, I think, you know? I, I, I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he, he, he is a cool guy, but I yeah. think <laughs> because you were on, he was like, oh, it's shit. Cool. I, I was like, hey, I got Blaze on. on. Can oh. you come on? He's like, all right, <laughs> cool, cool. So, like, so I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a Sean Don. So I'm gonna text him. I probably, can make that happen. So I'm a well, yeah. If you can, I'd appreciate. It, but I'm gonna text him and be like, "Hey, chicken, I just had Blaze on this show." I mean, bro. Yeah. I get and, and that's the point of me being here and doing these things because I know um, I carry some weight. And yeah, I gotta use people you. know yeah. that I co-sign. <laughs> people really know that I co-sign what I be, truly yeah. believe in, not something that's a fad, not something that shit. You guys are going on two years over two hundred fucking episodes. Tell oh, me I was oh, wrong. Well, wait, no, Tell no, me no. I was fucking wrong then. Well, we're at one twenty three now. Yeah, one twenty four. Yeah. But so it's a year round, so we count it by years. I see what's happening. Okay. Regardless, you guys haven't gave Either up. Way. Regardless, yeah, yeah, yeah. some fucking props. I've, yeah, yeah. I've learned along the way that you got to celebrate the small wins just as much oh, yeah. as the big wins, yeah, man, because yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that, yeah. that's that energy you need because there's yeah. not a lot of motherfuckers, I'm sure, that come in here like, hey, you guys ready to do another year of fucking... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with yeah, well, no one listening, bro. Yeah. Here's, here's, here's what I think you should do. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, going to yeah, help. Yeah, yeah. No, motherfuckers don't do that. Uh, so, no. you know, I, I know that it's a, a, a particular circle of people that that feel what you guys are trying yeah. to do. And I knew I had a co-sign what, what I've watched and saw a few times, and your guys' chemistry is yeah. dope. And you guys, man, fuck yeah. You guys are on, man. And we, honestly, we, and we just try to do, we try to improve any way we can, like any yeah. little adjustments we could do. Little, little you guys adjusted here your here. studio no, in here. Yeah, Y'all yeah, got yeah, a motherfucking yeah, AC. Yeah, AC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm over on Simmer last yeah, time yeah. I was here. Today, I'm, yeah. I'm cruising with the motherfucking yeah. other side of the pillow, man. <laughs> Shit. So, but yeah, you know, you're right. We did need each other. Uh, and... It, it, it worked out because I didn't know how to run a radio station. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know how to go on fucking air. When you when I was in Radio Broadcasting Academy, you have like a makeshift studio, but that doesn't mean that's exactly what the next studio you're going to go work at or be yeah, at yeah. is going to look like and function like. And it wasn't. It was way different boards, d shits in different locations. You got to turn this off, yeah. turn this on, <laughs> pop this up, and then when you're done, turn it down and go in reverse. You know what I mean? And so... It's like it's like you know what I'm just gonna keep doing with these analogies with the bitches, dude. It's like you know you know exactly how to so get down with it's like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's and like then you said. It's like you know like you can, it's like you know you could get you can make this one bitch not every time you know, but the other bitch you gotta do something else you know you gotta twist her nips and fucking. Poker butt or something. And then dude. you gotta yeah. cuddle and you gotta so, hold. Yeah, hey, you gotta cut you gotta it a little bit or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always yeah. tell the truth, so yeah, I don't yeah. ever gotta get in that situation. Sometimes but... you gotta say you love him, but you know, whatever, <laughs> dog. You know? I love you for now. How about yeah. that? Yeah. No, you know what? I'm not lying. At least I love you no. until you're gone. I'll yeah. tell you now. I've never. I, I mean, I've I've lied to. I've lied to like my current girlfriend. You know, <laughs> I lied to her all the time. But when I get when I like have one night stands. 
I never lie to those bitches, dude. <laughs> I tell them the truth, dude. I don't tell them like, oh yeah, well, you're not that homie had the dirtiest dick in the country. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Oh, the other, yeah, the other guy had the dirty dick. Huh? Now he <laughs> hey, I don't do that no more. I don't do that <laughs> yeah. anymore, you know. That was back straight in the arrow. Day. But yeah, arrow, but uh, yeah. but uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it's crazy that I li- that I never told the truth to these one night stands and I lied to my girl all the time. <laughs> yeah, your ass backwards. Because man. yeah, because the other day she's like, "What happened to my car door?" Uh, I I can't. When I open it, it the fenders the fenders busted them all. Squeaks or some shit. Well, oh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my moped on her car. You know, and I'm all no. I, I, yeah, what are you talking about? Dude? <laughs> It was, it's right. been that way. Yeah, we're getting way off the because I have a similar story, too, but I'm not going to fucking... I dropped him up in her car. My light broke. I'm a... oh, I ended up telling the truth a couple days later, but... Yeah, I don't want to tell my story because they're going to watch this interview and then I'm really happy. You're going to have to come back. You're going to have to come back. I'm about to cop like a G-ball of damage I did like in the 90s. But... So I started there, and, uh, you know, once I get that ball bouncing, you know, they finally offered me a night position, like an overnight position, yeah, yeah. brother. It, it's really an overnight position, like... Fucking two to four a.m. Well, don't don't you guys usually record like like after what four or five or uh, in the morning? nowadays? Yeah, then not so much. Then that was when radio was thriving. It was live three four shifts full live. Yeah, overnights. We didn't really have an overnight shift. I mean, I did. Um, but this recording program that we use, uh, it's called voice tracking. And because I I'd, I'd never really done live radio, yeah. obviously they weren't gonna put me live on the fucking radio no matter what time of yeah, day yeah, yeah, it was because yeah. I've never been live on the radio. <laughs> Two, I still didn't have my stick down. I I didn't have my sound. I didn't have the voice. You didn't know who didn't... you were, right? Um, well, I'm sure you do it as a person, but as a as an entertainer, right? As a, as a personality on the radio. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, yeah, and yeah. so that was an opportunity, the perfect opportunity. And I always say that to the people I've kind of ushered through, like, yo, this is where you develop your chops. This is where you get good. Yeah. It's not going to be good when you go on the radio live and you make all those mistakes live in front of people. Yeah, yeah. Here's where you make all the mistakes. You listen back to yourself. You study yourself better. I could have not said that. I should have said this. Next time I can do that. You know, and voice tracking did that for me i mean what is did, voice tracking yeah, is, again it's just the name of the program you use to record pre-record a show oh whatever. okay so it's just the so, magic and radio they wait call just it. just 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 to, just to record a uh, audio <clears throat> basically it okay. made your radio shift okay all right so i did that for roughly a year were, were there so. were there things at that time that you noticed you're like i can't do that no more um well i didn't have my energy down right. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Well, I was I, I I told y'all I learned from like Kid Capri and Funk Flex so and Jam little... Master J. So I was like over the top. Oh, okay, you know what okay. I mean? Like, hype man, like, hype, yeah, hype, I, I just hype. stayed in hype mode. Yeah, That's just yeah. what I learned. And too um, much uh, high energy. Too yeah, much energy. I mean you're going into a slow song. The the thing is you got to transition from one record and tempo to the a next record. Sunday and tempo. night slow jam. Right. Uh, However uh, you yeah. whatever the next transition is, yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. flow with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that, you know. And then my boss finally took me under his wing. My radio dad really took me under his wing, and he's like, you know, obviously nobody likes to get critiqued, you know, nobody. Mm-hmm. And so it was a hard pill to swallow at the at that time. <laughs> don't don't do that to me, dude, because I don't Shit. give a fuck, dude. Oh, I don't fucking care what you. I don't. Yeah, give a fuck. Hey, I take it and I think about it and then I say, you're All fucking right. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking. I'm joking. Which explains the stupid ass podcast. Yeah. I would think, right? I mean, we, we're, we at least don't lie. Yeah. We know we're stupid. Yeah, we know we're stupid and we keep it, keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, we keep it stupid out here. <laughs> so, yeah, man, uh, I, I, that's where you build your chops. And, yeah. And so finally, man, uh, I don't get the morning show for about another two years or so because there's already a morning show there. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, the show out of Seattle called the T-Man show. No. And this guy's stick was, he, he had a funny voice. He had a bunch of characters with him, but not only that, he had like a blue dot over his face. So you never knew who he was. He, he was always oh, the blue dot. Shit. Any promotional piece they use with him. That's kind of cool. Dot. Yeah. I mean, it just always kept you guessing, it, including me, you know, but also it's cool. Cause for him, if he, Could have been not that he's a big celebrity, well, maybe at the time he's oh, yeah, no, on the he, radio, he was but, Seattle's biggest, but DJ, so he, I mean, he sure. could still walk around and be anonymous. Yes. You know? Yes. And not only that, someone else could take a spot, too. Uh, yeah. and, and be the blue dot. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what happens is... We should have blue dot Jake. Yeah. 
That would have been cool. <laughs> but, yeah, black <laughs> dot, motherfucker. Dirty dick. Yeah, put on, and then the blue dot on your dirty ass dick over there. That would be cool too, bro. Bro, hey, there's no dots on my dick, dude. All right? Not yet. There's no spots, no dots, no fucking uh, nothing, all right? And if they are, they're not blue. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's great, actually. No bumps, no nothing, yeah. dude. So, uh, you know, this T-Man guy, eventually, um, he's about ready to retire. And Matt Foley's got the midday shift, and he had it night shift. And then I had the late night shift. No. We kind of like bumped up. up a little yeah, bit, yeah. right? We bumped up. He, he decides to get confident enough where he wants to do afternoons. This evening slot is open. I'm still over here. And I'm like, well, I want to get this slot, right? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. my next goal. Yeah. So I showed him prove myself there and get the slot. And I'm only the evenings. And that's really where I would like. I really didn't realize how powerful I would become when I get to the night slot. Like I kind of had my chops down. You, are you probably, and also you probably yeah. felt. The magnitude of that spot, and you're like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking upgrade here, dude. I'm gonna do whatever, I'm gonna do the best oh, I can to fulfill the spot. Let right me here, tell huh? you, when Eminem's Lose Yourself Drop, that single changed my life forever. Yeah. I was literally in that suit because this nice slot, you're there, you're in the whole building by yourself. There's That's what I was gonna, there. I was gonna ask that. I was, I was just gonna ask so that. That was the hardest part. Yeah, of I, I was just gonna ask that, like. When you're in there, if they're, you're, uh, well, I mean, you just answered the question. You're alone or are you with somebody, but you're alone? Sometimes I was somebody, but <laughs> for the most part, me. Oh, wow. Let's that's go. Nice. That's stories of the night shift right yeah, there. No, 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 no. Hey, that's everything happened, right, everything right, happened right. in the parking lot. It didn't happen in the studio. You never, so. you never, you never took a little, a little, or you never took a bitch to the it. studio. I'm, Honestly, I, I'm just gonna keep saying bitch because we were single. Call them bitches though, not all the women I talk to oh, are bitches. Hey, hey, hey. hey they like me well, bitches. it's it's, a, it's like a running they're joke now. They're goddesses uh, yeah, yeah. to me. It's they're a running joke now. We gotta it's a running, joke. We gotta, it's it's a running joke. we gotta keep doing it. It's a running joke now, dude. <laughs> Obviously, hey, hey, ladies, ladies out there, I'm not calling you bitches hey, unless you fucking yeah. break and, my and, windows and, out of my car. All right. And I know, I know. I hope that don't happen, so I don't have to call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, and I know I got a few exes watching right now. Bitches. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, I mean, you, I mean, you know, you know how I feel about. I you. think it was the ex bitch that busted the the window <laughs> or the fender to the fucking car, and not this guy. He just ain't trying to. Nah. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, no, I, I just, I'm gonna keep saying bitch because it's funny now. But I mean, I don't see, I don't see, I don't feel that way. But good. I love all women. Let me know, you know? People take words and twist it and. Uh -huh. so there's a lot more people. We we had this conversation. I just saw the interview again. Yeah, about bitch. And, huh? Well, no, yeah. more about like. Like, hey, it, what are you saying and how are you saying it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's fine. Say it loose and however you want because it's funny in the sense that it is in the way but, you're using it. Yeah. But we got some, I'm sure, people who probably feel like, what was it? But also, yeah, this is just, not, this know, is clearly. So, just this, so there, yeah. it's clear that you're not really using yeah, but it in it's that way. It's clearly this is not a serious show to me. <laughs> All right? Well, I mean, you're here. and. And we pre I appreciate you telling your story. Obviously, we all want to hear it. Hell yeah. But we like to, we prefer jokes. Or you want to hear more about your fucking <laughs> next bitch? No, 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 no. That's all we've been talking about. Yeah, it's no, like, no, no, hey, please, no. so you ever hear about my ex bitch? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. He brought it up about my fucking amazing tongue, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not amazing. Oh, come on, come on. It was good. All right, let's go. And back to lengua, like it is in Spanish, right? El verbo. It is the gift of gab. And, and, so by the time I hit this evening slot, I'm doing well. I'm 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 not polished, but my energy's right. People haven't heard me yet, and I'm I'm. People don't know it's me just yet. They don't know it's yeah. David Blaze from S SKT and CTM and all those years. But you notice the shift in yourself, like oh, I'm better now. I've got better, right? Yeah, more confident with the yeah, buttons, yeah, yeah, the knobs. Yeah, yeah. It's like you, it you feels good. With your eyes it feels closed. good. Yeah. yeah. And then Eminem, Eminem's lose yourself happens. I, I you know me and Foley are brothers now. But at that time, early, you know, I was like full blown hip hop and he wasn't. He was like full blown. I understand radio, though. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't understand that. Get the hits up I, I, I didn't understand radio in the radio business. I just thought, mm -hmm. well, it's a hip hop station, ain't it, bitch? Like, yeah. we got to play hip hop and yeah. I talk hip hop. <laughs> and this is why it, I talk yeah. this way and do these it's, things. It's and, more I think it's more pop, right? Mm -hmm. Now, oh, yes. Yeah, at yeah, that yeah, time, yeah. though, it's, no. It's whatever, it's whatever is hitting right now. It's not really hip. I mean, it is hip hop, too. But I mean, it's not that. I mean, we call it rhythmic. You know, I call it rhythmic yeah, music. Yeah. Like it's got rhythm. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, you can yeah, dance yeah, to it and have yeah, fun. And so, yeah. but not at that time. We weren't doing what we're doing now. It was more strictly hip hop. It was the Valley's Hip Hop and R&B station. Matter of yeah, fact, yeah, I named yeah. the station that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always been Hot 99.7, but it didn't have a moniker to it or a position statement. They call it. I gave it the position statement. And <clears throat> so, you know, although we're bumping heads a little bit, 
I'm coming on. Oh, you guys were him. popping heads, huh? Just in that sense, like he's trying to teach me. But I mean, you're the you're I'm you're younger than him. You're you're pecking. You're you're trying to get his spot, right? Backwards. I'm older than him, and I know more. Oh. But you're, but you're, no, not, not younger than him in age, but younger than him as, as yes. a career aspect. Yes. And you're packing, you're trying to take a spot, Seniority. you're trying to be, Seniority you're trying to be the guy, you know? But see, I don't understand that he's trying to teach me the business and radio right. and how it really works, right? right. And, and I wouldn't get that till like my radio dad really starts. Is it, is it a shady in. business, dude? Shady or shitty? <laughs> <laughs> well, either one, dude. Uh, I, I'm not going to say shady because nobody's ever done no wrong to me yeah yeah yeah. you know what i'm saying what you say shitty then shitty in some ways and and i didn't realize that until i would take foley's full position yeah. so here's what happens um finally t-man is getting ready to retire and by the way me and foley get to meet t-man oh, one because yeah. every winter he would do like an in-studio christmas party he would basically go to a casino and do the show live yeah. at five in the morning till nine did you did you fanboy off him? Like, oh, shit. Yeah, I, got yeah. I got a picture. I got a picture with him. Oh, hell yeah. I got a picture with him, man. Yeah, blue face. Blue face. Blue face. Blue face. Blue face. Yeah, you're right. And he was a great guy. His energy was great. I get to see him. There's a stage where they're doing their show, and he had a live band. And this is the first time we've been invited, but we never go because of the weather. And this time, the weather was great. And we're like, let's fucking go. It's December. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the, the in-studio Christmas party. So it's like the week before Christmas. Oh, the Christmas party. That's when you get the bitches. Right. right. And yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I don't know what for. <laughs> so we finally go meet him. So I've actually got a chance to see and meet the team man, uh, the man behind the blue dot. And I have a picture of that. I'll find it. Wait, eventually. wait. So you seen his face. Yeah. I shook his hand. We we told wow. him where his sister's did station. You, did we, you ask him, like, is that really you? It's that really behind well, the We've been watching them yeah. the whole time, you know what I mean? I know, thing, but, but, but I'm just, I don't but know. But that's a sister station. No, if I, he's, it, he's the you got to understand, we were there watching the show happen live that morning. But oh, and then, but then they superimposed the, the dot. No, no, face. he didn't have a blue dot. I'm just saying, they like. They took the dot off his face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's not wearing it in real life. <laughs> they well, he he's should, just, dude. He should. What? He's just, hey, hey, we all seen that funk, bro. It's like a meeting and greet. It's like a meeting and greet. We just done the blue band group shit. Yeah, DJ Mouse, or what's that, Mouse guy? with the Marshmallow. Marshmallow, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, he was Marshmallow, dude. Okay, yeah. before, yeah. Marshmallow stole that shit from that him. Day. No, like I'm him. sorry. He wasn't wearing the blue dot on his face. He was uh, just being him, <laughs> and mainly because obviously in radio you can't see somebody. So, like what I meant earlier was like any promotional thing. Let's say they're giving away the Howard the Duck book yeah. by T Man. You're gonna see Howard, but his picture is gonna have the blue dot on his face <laughs> okay. every time. Every time. So you do, you're just never gonna know unless well, no, you meet that him. Like a gimmick? That's his gimmick. I it mean, was his stick, like I said. So every you always gotta have a stick. I like it, dude. So at that point, yeah. Uh, things are. I don't really understand that the radio universe is about to shift in my favor here at this point, yeah. and maybe that's my problem. You know, when when things fall apart, good things come together. You know, at the end, and so I felt like things were falling apart, and then Eminem lose yourself. I just felt like maybe me and Foley weren't gonna get along as best as I wanted to, yeah. and it wasn't that we had a personal issue. He was just trying to teach me some. And I'm you're the new something. guy. You're the new. And guy. I'm trying to teach him was, something. Was this before or after you guys had the show together? So here we go. Uh, T Man decides to retire shortly after we meet him, and the morning show slots open. And I, I bring it up to Foley's attention, even with this little bit of friction we have. We're just it, basically, you know, again, he's trying to teach me something I don't know, and I'm trying to teach him something he don't know. We just don't know how to really accept that from each other. Yeah. But he retires. He announced retirement. What are we gonna do? We start having that conversation, and I'm like, let's do a morning show, me and you, me and you. And oh, and, you brought up the idea? Yeah, it's my idea to do the neighborhood morning show, and he's just like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know because I'm driving, you know, 30 minutes from the way I go, bro. I'll be here. He's like, man, you sure? I don't know. I'm, I, man, what are we going to talk about? I'm like, whatever the fuck what? we want. You know, it'll be funner to do a show together than by ourselves yeah. doing separate shows. And shit. also, also, yeah. at the, you guys aren't really on the same. Correct. So that makes the show even better. And, and, it, yeah. and, it, and it would be better because we come from two different worlds and made yeah, it work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. they do give us the opportunity. And, and you know, in radio, you get air checked. Air check is basically when your boss says, like, they come all right, check you, huh? Oh, uh, well, you record <laughs> your shoot. I mean, air, this is any radio station. It's an air check. You get an air check. In. What do they do? They air fucking, check. hey, you, you, time you, to it's check, basically a, a sample of what you did for the show. Oh, okay. And because we were new, we basically had one every other fucking day. Yeah. And, you know, again, nobody likes to be critiqued. Nobody likes to think that they're not doing something <laughs> good. Yeah. And it felt that way at first, but this guy's really trying to uh, iron us out and, and, Take out the creases how, and mold us into something how, better than how what do, he. How do hear. you feel about being critiqued? Do you not like it? Oh, now I love it. Now I love honestly, it. honestly, what what the whole joke earlier when he was <laughs> yeah. going like this? Yeah. I honestly, I I take it, I I really enjoy it too because I'm like, okay, well, let me see what 
Well, let's 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 talk about it. You know, yep, yep. because there was well, you're not gonna grow. We don't know everything. Th yeah, that's the thing. Because and once you start acting like that, that's where you start. Yeah, well, the game, we, bro. well, we used to we used to, we would do we do videos and we do a segment where we watch videos, right? We used to have the video small and us big. Hey, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. And then my buddy is like, dude, you need to stop doing the videos. I'm like, why? I, people like him. I like him. He's like, hey, give away, okay, well, give if you. Away. Give away, give away, yeah, yeah, we'll do give it. Whatever you guys want yeah, for you. And then, and then he yeah, give it to Dirty Dick, man. Maybe he'll yeah, come yeah. back. <laughs> hey, and then, and then he tells us he's like, hey, if you're gonna do the videos, make them bigger, dude. Uh -huh. If because they're so small, you can't do it them all. And then on a phone, it's even smaller. Yeah, yeah. I'm all. You know yeah, what? Yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah. dude. And that's critique. Yeah. But if if critique is different, if you're like, yo, you're trash. Yeah. Well, oh. why? Why do you think I'm trash? Right. Well, right. That's well, critique, well, that's well, because because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like you. Well, okay. Well, that's different. That's 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 not critique. That's not even. Yeah. But critique is supposed to really be to guide somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Critique is like you know what? Yeah. You. I've noticed you keep saying. This and this, like every all the time, maybe you hang back on it, and that's it. And yeah. those words are called crutches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, called yeah. the crutch yeah. video. You know, you're all um, um. The word yeah, yeah, um yeah. is such a crutch for so many people. Oh, yeah, 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 Mine yeah. used to be man and man and man and man <laughs> this and man yeah, that and see or, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it's just crutches, yeah. And and if you really accept critiques right, like I eventually would learn to get critique, which. But critique, but cri 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 there's, a, there's not a fine line. But there's a fine line between critique and just straight up talking shit. Oh, right. Because yeah. if so, you say you don't like something, can you tell me why? Like, what's the problem? Right, yeah. right. But yeah. that's still shitting on somebody. A critique is supposed to be like, I think you're going to sound better, and this is why. And yeah. so what, we, what, what my boss was teaching us at that time is like, you guys can say the same shit, but it shouldn't take you three fucking minutes yeah. to do it. But 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 also, because nobody's going to hang there for three fucking minutes. But, and listen to but also at the same all. time, when, when it comes to critique. Cr Critique, critique, not, not, not that, not, not be correct what they're saying. You have to still go, go your own path. Like if you're like, right. no, this is what, this is what I want to do, yeah. and this is the way. Because if they, if you take too much critique in, you're gonna be you, something you else. You. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna be who being, you are. You're not being you. You're not being. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. You but want see, to be. that's how I felt, and and then I figured it out. I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna do what you're telling me, but I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And and that that was hard to fucking again. Is, that, is, that, is, another... that, is that how the radio check? They're like doing radio check on you guys. And you're like, no, this is how we want to do it. Is that yeah, what they, they want to do? To what? To just see. want to change what you're doing on the radio check? You know, first of all, in radio, nobody's gonna listen to you for three fucking full minutes unless you're really into talk radio. Yeah. Right? Like AM? My station isn't. Or F My station is not FM? No, AM. Is it AM? Whoever. It could be on AM or FM. No, AM is more when they talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they have music on their Okay, Not necessarily. You could be a talk show radio. You're right. It could be a radio show. And it's more talk, less music. You know what I mean? And that's what he was trying to imply to us. Like, yo, I think you guys should kind of have a balance where you play a lot more music. And just trim your conversation down. Just trim the fucking conversation down. Your conversation is yeah. funny. You guys are funny having fun. I'm sure the people are rolling along with you. But you can only talk, say so much about Kim Kardashian's ass. You know what I mean? No, no. You can never say too oh, much. Hey, about hey, it. Oh, no. Can, oh, no, 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 and he's like, well, what do you think the mother with her daughter in her car while you guys are talking about Kim K's ass for the next five fucking minutes? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're like, right. That's different. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that's different. It's a different vibe. Yeah, it's, a, it's more of a family friendly show, right? And then yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Because this whole thing, I'm thinking, yeah. well, it's a hip hop show. This is hip hop. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, but you're not going to win if you just stay in that lane. You're not going to win. Yeah. You, you, and little did he not know, he did not know that, that the protege would come back and beat the master because of what he taught me. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And I was able to apply all those things he taught me when I was ready to, and I, you know, find and you know what? He, I mean, that's pro that's what you want from your protege. If I yeah. teach somebody something, yeah, right. yeah. I want them to be better than me. Same as my children. Yeah. I teach them something about, yo, I want no. you to be a better person he, than I am. He had been the number one guy for like 20 years in a row, so yeah. it wasn't that fun for him and it wasn't that fun for all those people that were on like his team well that's a hard pill to swallow dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he should, 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 should never have taught you then. Yeah. he should never have taught you then or whatever. Right, right, but I just don't think he really thought I was gonna say what I said I was gonna do like take everybody's head off and then by the time I did all that well let's get back to the morning show because I'm getting ahead of myself here but through the critiques we got better <clears throat> and then eventually <clears throat> Foley would just get sick of the <clears throat> how do I want to say it wasn't shade, the shady part, the shitty part of the business. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. What and, is the shitty part? Well, let me fo fo keep going. <laughs> okay, okay. So he leaves, and now I got to step up, right? Now I, I'm so, gotta, he, Basically, my boss well, says this to me. Was says, it was it like an amicable breakup, or was he like, he was like, fuck this, I'm out burning bridges? A little bit of both. 
A little bit okay. of both. He let it be known he was done, and and then like, fuck, we don't need you anyways, bro. Uh, well, I didn't feel that way. <laughs> not, like, not, you, not, not you, not you, but the 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 maybe, the, yeah. but maybe not because they had two options: one, hand me the torch and see what I was gonna do, or find some other random motherfucker and see does what he could do. Does that guy live here? Now he does, but he moved away. He ends up going away. Can you get him on the show? Hey, yeah, we'll come back next time. We can talk about that. Uh, let's get him on. I almost it. brought him, but it was no. just last minute. And let's like, hey, actually never seen let's him get him on his own, and I'll say, so give us the real details <laughs> on Blaze, dog. Yeah, yeah, no. People, <laughs> give us the real story. He's tell you everything I said. I came from a men's home. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. That's how he met me. You know what I mean? I'm having fun. Fresh out of a men's home. But no, he's going to tell you all that. And so then you guys will be like, damn, Blaze ain't lying. But no, no. Hey, I don't think you're lying. I'm just I'm having fun. I guess so and he, obviously i gotta hear his side of the story because his <laughs> version i'm sure is way different from mine but <laughs> it be. um, you know, it's this whole series here you know? yeah <laughs> hey the, the the rise of 997 yeah, huh the rise and it's not we can't say it hasn't it fallen never yet. fell it never You're fell hey i didn't say that bitch you're the one saying say that bro kind of jinx me fuckers man. yeah no say, hey i never <laughs> said none of that no, no, and i was so, just saying like i was trying to think of something else but fall came to my head with that rhyme but so uh you know, this pressure is on me now, and they're like, Blaze, we're willing so to give you the, the first dibs. They put dibs. the station on your back, huh? They're like, we're willing to give you yeah. first dibs if you're willing to take on the fucking um, the position. Yeah. And obviously, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, how old are you at yeah. this time? You can't say no. No, you got to say yes. Well, how old are you at this time? I'm probably like 28 now. I, you know, I started radio that's, that's at 26. So it was probably, I'm, I'm pushing 30-ish, you you're know kinda, what I mean? You're kind of ready to step yeah, up and be ready, like a... Yeah, no, because you got to understand, radio... There's a lot of stuff that goes through radio. I'm basically managing. It's like managing a store by yourself. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. do everything. Yeah. And so at that time, we didn't have no Wheezy, no Sean the Don, no yeah. Germ Rock. None of those ways were there. It was just me now. So I decided to take on this position of PD and MD, program director, music director. I basically run the whole fucking station, yeah. right? I'm the shot caller. You got the keys to the shot, basically. Oh, and, oh, yeah. And this fucker's going to teach me everything he knows in two weeks before he fucking leaves, uh, right? Did he, oh, right. did he? So he right. put his two weeks notice. <laughs> absolutely. Did he stay the two weeks? He absolutely. He's did. a good man because you know what? I put two weeks. I'm out the next I'm day. Not... Yeah. <laughs> it feels good right now, right? Uh, Talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you think I'm staying two weeks? Yeah, dog? that's Fuck hilarious. you. I'm fucking out. Let's talk about that on the radio. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he does. He does. He teaches me as much as he can, and it's a lot of shit to learn. But I, I got hey. a notebook just. Well, Yo, like 50 pages of shit I have to do on the daily to run that, a radio at station. At that time, you guys, you established you guys are friends. Yes, right? yes. Because we've already done the morning show for like three years. So roughly. before that, you guys were like, I mean, it's not that I want to say you guys were friends. You just didn't know each other, right? And now you guys Absolutely. became, now you guys are friends and you're like and a little. We to know each other doing this morning show. We yeah. were able to talk about some things we would never talked about. Yeah. We, and, you, and, and, you know, you come to find out you have more things in common yeah. with the person than you don't. So then, you when, know? So then when he leaves, you are kind of heartbroken a little. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my guy. You know, this is the guy who taught me radio. Yeah, and yeah, I taught yeah. him. Yeah. Radio Not that he didn't know hip-hop, but I just taught him a different way of hip-hop. You I know? mean, everybody could teach something, some, some, something, someone something. Word, you know? word. And so, yeah, I'm crushed. And I don't even know that. 15 years later, I'm going to be the shit. I don't know that yet. You know, I don't, I, no. I don't even thinking that way. I'm so scared that I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. I just know that this is my fucking notes and I got to do this shit. Yeah, but you know this is mean? the thing. I, 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 I think I, that might be a little facetious because you, I mean, to do what you did to keep pushing, you did have to have a little thought in your mind. Like, yo, I could be good at this or else like you wouldn't even I, try that hard. The right. Honor peace. Wasn't my worry. The honor piece yeah. I could do. No, what I'm saying is like off air, everyday yeah. operational yeah, stuff. But, but you, is the piece that but scared you, me. But you did have yeah. you did have a thought in your mind that like, uh, yo, I could be somebody. Like I, could I be said, something. when Eminem's lose yourself uh, drop, yeah. and it says when you have one moment, one fucking shot, yeah. one yeah. fucking yeah. opportunity, what the fuck are you gonna do yeah, with yeah. it? Yeah. You know, and this was it. Are I, you I, gonna it was either this or back to Elm Street, yeah, and yeah. slang dope again. You know what I mean? And be lost in the sauce like everybody that. Yeah around me was lost in you know but i i can't i don't know if you when you say like i didn't know i, was, I didn't think i was gonna do this like you must have had a little thought like no, oh i could be this no. i could do this I, I just honestly i just why would you, i just wanted to be funny on the radio dude because i was not gonna yeah, be an yeah. actor no more and be funny there with comedy so i could yeah, be a funny that. guy on the radio yeah and it was gonna be even a little better for me that that people wouldn't see me you know what I'm saying? Oh, cause oh, because I could hide myself like T Man did, and I could say funny things yeah. and abstract stuff. Cause that was my thing. At the, that was like my shtick. I would always say abstract. Yeah, stuff. You know, I feel the same way. Uh, when I, cause I'm from like down there, lower valley, whatever. 
and I ran through that town, you know, like I fucked a lot of girls down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I go down there, I'm all dang, I don't, I, I don't want to be down there. I don't want no one to see me, you know. Right. But, and next time I'm down there, I'll be like, are you a bitch? Okay, I, I don't fuck with you. I heard you fucking with my dog over here. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did not know I was gonna be something great. I just knew I wanted to be funny on the radio because uh, I'm here now. And I'm not gonna be an actor, so I I uh, want to try to get this funny shit out of me the reason, for the pub to I'll, the people. The reason why I say that as well is because like you're so inspirational. Like now, like I don't know how you were before, but now you're like you're telling us, yo, do this or you could do that or like believe in yourself. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, it's crazy and that it, 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 it is so crazy like, where you're going because uh, I didn't believe in myself and, until I finally uh, yeah. accepted who I was supposed to be. And that's what I'm saying. It's crazy that you didn't believe in yourself right. when you're the one now, championing, yes. championing everybody saying yes. you could do this, you could do that when you didn't even have that yourself, dude. And, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. I wish I had a homie or a big homie figure like that growing up who could really tell me those things. Yeah. And I realized how much that that pushes somebody to be that you yeah. know like right, yeah i mean obviously who wouldn't want that from their parents i never really got that from my I know, parents. yeah we, we nor did i nor did we uh we didn't i mean obviously this is a regular story dad lived mom had to work all the time he's taking care of me i'm taking care of my brother yeah, it's yeah, the same yeah. story everyone knows and, so, and, you know? and it's because poverty it's because bill's got to get yeah, paid yeah, yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. Their parents probably your grandparents didn't uh, tell your yeah. parents that they could be great yeah, at yeah. something. But you know what? It's it's cool. Like I, you could, I could sometimes I sit back and think about. I'm like, dang, dude, my mom was or my dad. But I'm like, you know what? It's just what they had to do. It's not. It's I. I get, I'm pretty sure my mom did want to be around us, and my, probably my dad. I don't even know. I don't know what he wanted, but right. I'm sure my mom wanted to be around us, but she just couldn't. But see, now you that know? we're at this age and we know that. Yeah, yeah, but earlier we can, we can do better for our kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I try. Well, I trust me, if, if your parents didn't love you, or if I I'm feel not, like my parents didn't love you, or what have you, oh, yeah. bro, you don't think? Uh, how did you still have a roof over your head? How did they? That's manage to that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And still manage yeah. all these other things. Now that yeah. you have kids and realize, like, that's, damn, yeah, there's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, like the other day, the other day, just just for example, the other day I had to take my kid to school to kindergarten, and he's all crying. I'm all, dude. I just want to take you home right now. Yeah. I want to take you home, but I'm all, I have to leave you here. And my son's probably like, Dad, I want to go home. I'm yeah. all, dude, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're like, <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to cry. Yeah. Because he's that, crying. That, that, that father son uh, moment. No, happens, he's crying. Because yes. I've been with my son every day since he was born. And I got to drop him to school. And then the other parents, there's other moms there. Right. And, and then they're looking at me, and my son's crying. I'm holding him all, dude. I'm like, okay, I just want to take you home. Okay. I'm like, I just want to take him home. But they're fucking, it's some bullshit rule at the school. Like, this freaking, you have to go to the school two weeks before you go to fucking regular school or something. Yeah, to sure. meet the parent. I mean, to meet, meet the, the teacher. teacher. Yeah. Right, yeah. But if he doesn't go every day, then he loses his whole spot in the school. So I'm all, dude, I wish I could just take you home right now. Yeah. And then so I'm is like. This, is this uh kinder, pre-kinder? Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'm right there. And then, the other, and I, and then. My kid's crying. I'm right there, and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And he's all, Dad, I want to go home with you. Can we go home and play Smash Brothers? I'm all, that's all I want to do, bro. And then, but and not then, today. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then the teacher comes up to me, grabs his hand. It's like, you need to leave him. You need to leave him all. Yeah. All right, dude. Because so, let me yeah. tell you why. Two things. One, that father son moment. Parents are like, your parents were here, stuck it out with you the whole time to raise you, right? This is what you're doing. And two. Every teacher already knows that every this fucking yeah, 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 be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I, okay. and I know, you know too. I, mean? I know too. I know too. Well, this, the I know too. Yes. I know. I know too. But the thing is, because like my family, my mother and my father wasn't around. Like I try to be around with my kid. Word, word. So that, so I'm like, well, dude, I don't want my kid to feel like I felt. Because I, I, I didn't feel like, like you didn't have time for them or didn't care about. Yeah, them as and much. that's why yes. I don't want them to think that. You know. Um, so that's all my god that was hard but then so then i'm walking off and i'm off to go like that and then everyone's looking at me off yeah. I, well, I don't give a fuck uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't care <laughs> I'm, I'm sad crying, bro bitch. i'm crying i'm fucking bitch. sad dog i don't yeah. fucking care dog. by the way yeah. wanna fuck i can already <laughs> hear you saying that i could already see you there. i was like yo <laughs> hey bitch. hey you see i let my kid off put it in you yeah, <laughs> yeah you're crazy no 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 but but i don't know i don't know how we got off this tangent but uh well you know we were talking about how i'm like a walking inspirational. Oh yeah, yeah. Now. But but you didn't have but that. I wasn't but always you, that. But you weren't that for yourself, and you didn't have no one to no, teach you that either. No, or to no. That My dad it. just always taught me how to work hard, and and yeah, yeah. and, and you know, also that's something that's something in itself, dude. Yes. To be like, hey, you know what? 
put like oh, your father probably what he did like field work or whatever. All field work. Yes. He's like, hey, Warehouse. put your head down. You get to work. You do that shit. You get it done. There you go. And that's something in itself. That's it. Because you know it. that could apply the physical work to any type of work, like uh, mental work, studying. And, and I did going that, to school that, or whatever. When that Eminem record dropped, yeah. like all that came, like that the 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 big homie from. Yeah. Phoenix that helped me and let me move into his house and save my life. Yeah, to yeah. the people at the school who believed in me at that moment. To, you know what I'm saying? The radio station really giving me an opportunity to me moving forward to a night shift yeah. and then to a morning show now. But, and, but, and Well, also, it's because that's what your dad said. Hey, do, well, no, just get to work. There it is. And, and, and it, it, let work, the work talk for you, you know? Work doesn't have to be physical work. Right. Work, there's different types of work. You know, you got to fucking you got to study your fucking algebra. That's fucking work. That is work. Mental work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work ain't physical. And here's the thing, like when Foley kind of announced that he was about to leave, because I really didn't believe him yet. But, Uh, you know, there was a window there where he doesn't know what he wants to do. What is it? You think he was just a little jaded on the whole industry? Yeah, because they tell you one thing. And then when you go ask for those things and they fucking just kind of make it sound like. You're an idiot for asking for oh, this like stuff. those like raises and other things like that. And promotional ideas yeah, are yeah, like, yeah. man, what do you guys want to do this month? Well, we want to give away a fucking trip to Disneyland. Man, that sounds awesome, and we're having like a real meeting about yeah, these yeah, things, yeah. right? Putting our energy and time that's and like, effort. That's doable. A trip to Disneyland, and then motherfuckers don't want to give you a trip to yeah, Disneyland, yeah, and you're yeah. like, what the fuck, man? So like, yeah, that'd be that is the, the so yeah. he he he. I mean, obviously the the rate. Promotions are a part of the tool to get listenership. You, you know what I you like. Know? You know what I like about radio, dude. This, I don't like you guys. Whatever, it, and I, I'm starting to understand now. They know they're they they're fucking frugal. They don't want to give shit away, right? So what they do is like they say, we got concerts, we got tickets to the concert, which they probably got for free, right? It's trade. It's trade. Yeah, yeah. There's no so, money involved there. It's but if I got trade. free, you give me this, we do this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we we'll give you we give you concert tickets, whatever. And then they're like, you gotta call. This time, and then if you ask your question, you win. But then also, you're in now. You're in a pool because for the whole week, everyone's got to call. Drawing. Yeah, everyone's got to call. And then like, oh, if you get drawn, you got to answer because we're gonna call you. I'm like, dude, can we make it a lot simpler than that? Like, can we just say, let's ask you a question? And like, do you have to be? You got the tickets yeah, for and, free, and, you you know, and, I, and I understand what listen, they do that. They do that so you get viewers like, uh, I'll, like listen, listen. Those people don't have. A consultant in their corner to tell them like, "Yo, this com- this 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 promotion you're doing is too complicated. Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. jump through three hoops. They don't even uh, want to jump through uh, two. Uh, yeah, yeah. They barely want to look through the first hoop, and hopefully you'll get them in. And so, yeah, just to call in and be like, oh, hopefully I'm the ninth caller. Yeah, so that's what we did. Yeah, that's yeah. what we did. You yeah, know, my my radio dad was started teaching me all the game. Yeah, it was like once Foley left, he really 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 opened up the door to the yeah. industry for me and told me, look, this is how you got to start doing shit. You know yeah. what I mean? You're on the right track. You got to shorten this down. These conversations got to get shorter. Yeah. These promotionals got to be easier and sweeter. Yeah. Um, but the but the reason why the promotional things are so uh, so complicated is so you could get them listening every day, right? Because if they oh, say... Some people will and some people won't. Well, I know, but... It, know, some but, people participate, some people won't. But, but, it's too much shit. But, but if you won, if you won that day and they say... Okay, right. but you have to listen to this day when it's the semifinal round. You have to listen to that day, then maybe we'll call you or you call in if you're in that color again that day. So now you're listening that day and then the next day. Correct. Yeah, but I'm, so uh, unless you're in, you're not really following this contest like rigorously. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Being yeah. On That's it I'm like, oh my God, it's this time I got to go because I could win a thousand bucks for this trip to Disneyland we're never going to do. Well, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Um, what, do you, what, would, what, would, what was the best uh, promotional prize that you guys ever gave out? God, man. You know what? You guys ever give out a car? Ah, uh, no. I tried. We tried for 10 years. That was another thing Foley left. Like, these yeah. motherfuckers said we could give away a car and we never did shit. That'd um, be nice, right? Absolutely. Hey, you give away a car? Hey, I don't care. They're going to wake up and fucking listen to it. And yeah, every, yeah, word. Yeah. So, oh, man. I mean, I you give away. This conversation, but if yes, you give away, you're right, though. Yeah, you're if, fucking if you, absolutely if right. You give away, you. Nah, if you give away, like, a $20 gift card to Starbucks, they're like, okay, whatever. But you give away a car. And the car doesn't have to be, like, car card, 10 grand, you know? And say, go, go tell that to one of these car laws, bro. That I just want a ten thousand dollar car, and we're gonna do trade. We're gonna qualify for no, a but year you or can, a month. No, but you can though, because you could just you could also promote the car lot. You say, exactly. oh, own a car, gave us this, and you and you say it. It, it, it does sound that easy, right? Right, yeah, 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 It yeah, does sound yeah, that yeah, easy, yeah, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, fuck you. It's not that easy because well, well, it's what a it, great idea, yeah. but 
Having a car lot to give you a ten thousand dollar car? No, 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 no. You maybe five thousand. No, I would think. Yeah, but you tell them. You tell and maybe them. we sent the wrong person to go speak for us. Maybe well, they should have just sent me. Well, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you, they should have just sent yeah, me. Yeah, why would they give you this yeah, energy? You should, yeah, you should show up and say, and, hey, and, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna, you pass us a ten thousand dollar car, right? We're gonna pay. Well, you, give us. We'll, we'll pay two grand on it. We'll pay the down payment. We'll pay two grand on it, and then we'll, the, for the full month, you'll get promotion. I like how much do they pay for ads for the month? If they pay, if they pay, if it's uh, if it's uh, if it's five grand for for the whole month of ads, so you we trade for the car, right, right. And but then again, yeah. I wasn't involved with that, so that's probably a lot of the reason why I, they didn't I, happen. And that's you know probably why I mean? the dude Matt is probably it's upset, exactly right? Exactly the yeah, reason yeah, why yeah, he yeah. left. Exactly yeah. the reason because not that we were promised these things, but the way it was, like maybe they didn't even try, right? We don't know that. I'm not gonna sit here and, and say that. You can't bash your. You can't bash your. I just you know things didn't sooner. happen, yeah, yeah. and things started to get frustrating, yeah, and yeah. then it just felt like hot 99.7. Instead of helping us build this, hey, you want to give a car away right now? I'll fucking figure it out, Max. <laughs> well, our fucking energy's there now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We've only been on air two yeah, years yeah. now. We're on a roll. People yeah, are getting yeah. positive feedback from the hood now, and everywhere we go, people are like, "Yo, you guys are funny." Yeah, this yeah. Guy can co-sign that and. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not. I don't know, dude. No, no, no. You're, uh. you're, we're taking it down a whole other lane. That it's we're gonna. The thing is, it was a combination of a lot of those things. Yeah, yeah, Foley, yeah, You know what I mean? From what I understand. But before he does bounce, he's telling me this is gonna happen, and he's like, "You should start. We, we should start working on trying to get to another morning show partner." And so we just started kind of thinking and talking. And I'd listen to 107 because at that time I'm, I'm really doing my job and just um counter programming and i'm listening to what they're doing and maybe some things we could do and not 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 that we we bit any of their style too well much. competition helps uh, helps everybody out dude. exactly but sean the don was there at the time and he was like really the only guy i liked on air yeah he's now, cool was already my competitor on the morning show so he's not gonna leave that slot to come with me when he's king at yeah. his slot you I, know? I just met <laughs> keep uh, up yeah. the good work but back to yeah, him yeah. because Nam had already had a morning show. Sean was at night, and I just liked his vibes. Well, everything got the radio gods are just good, right? So as Foley's about to leave, Sean gets fired for whatever reason or let go. I don't know. They start doing like oh, yeah? cuts. This is like when the first recession happened, like in mid two thousands, like yeah. five oh six, and um, they let him go. And I hear about it, and I'm like, damn, you know, Dewey, my radio dad, he finally says like, so what are you thinking? Maybe we could steal somebody. Fuck it, you know? And I'm like, you know what? There's this guy, Sean, huh? I, there's this guy named Sean the Don, and he's like the only guy I really hear anywhere that I think could could work, that me and him could work. And we don't know each other. Yeah, I don't yeah, know him. Yeah. I really don't well, know I'm much sure, of him. I mean, you... Other than what he's done on here. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. And, I'm sure um, he knows you as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people were starting to know me at that time. He he probably got on around the same time I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just his career then or stint there would not last that long. And then yeah. I would scoop him up. And then that's how me and him started the morning show. So me and him, he takes Foley slide because my sidekick, I become what they say, the quarterback, you know, and I'm running the station. Who is he, your running back? Uh, he would be my running back, bro, my wide receiver, both. both oh, Whatever player I needed him to be, you know what I mean? And we, yeah. we had a great time, bro. Would he be the one that bent over and throw the ball right right, uh, right under his legs? To the you the center? Yeah. <laughs> I the don't, guy who hikes the football? I don't know football, dude. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Look, <laughs> I've never asked for that position, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, hey, how about you just toss me the ball, brother? I'm not going to put my I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm having fun, dude. I'm, I'm not going to put my watch in your Gucci. Yeah, I, I'm, right, fucking but, I'm fucking no, around. I'm fucking around. No, but you're, yeah. you're right, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're right. So we, he would come on, and we would hit it off. We would have a great Wait, time. Wait, you got two watches on? Yeah, so motherfuckers know what time it is. Oh, wow, bro. Let's so, go. Yeah, yeah we'll go. Dude, through. I only got one watch. Well, I'm going to have to get you guys watches next. Um, <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, uh, I don't like to know what time it is, dude. I'm more of like I know a, what you mean. Let I'm it happen, of, let it roll. I'm more of like a lazy type of guy. I don't even know what day it is. You're like, I don't want my alarm to work. Yeah, I, don't yeah. want none of that shit. <laughs> I wish I could not have. A I lounge, watch. you know. I lounge. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. Fuck, I got to be everywhere all the time. Are, 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 do you have, do you have East Coast and West Coast, or do you have different? Your Northwest time, homie. Both? I rep the Northwest Both? all day, all day. Dude, you have one London, one fucking... <laughs> yeah, one China or something for my fucking China, Chinese chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for your Chinese bitch, bro. Yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> my, my Chinese goddess, actually, is what I meant. I ain't gonna get no pussy saying that shit. But anyway... <laughs> hey, bro, hey, you'd be surprised. You're right. We, we, we talked about that. Yeah. But uh, So I bring Sean the Don along with me. We hit it off pretty well. I start teaching him the ropes. Obviously... He's hungry and has these big, crazy ideas, and he starts learning, like, 
Foley started learning. Eventually, I started learning that, hey, it's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. They want you to dream big, but yet uh, half of those things, more than half of those things never happen for whatever reason. Yeah, but and at, at that point, it's not my job because I'm not a salesperson. Yeah, but, That's but, uh, a sales yeah, But at the same time, it is a smaller market. Yeah, it's smaller demographics, smaller market, smaller town. Like, you can't expect a shit ton of stuff, you know? Well, you expect to give a fucking car away. Yeah, you should. <laughs> okay, then fuck you. I I, I could dream big. Right, yeah. That was the problem. That I mean, it's like the dangling yeah, carrot, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, dream yeah. big, man. Whatever the fuck you got. But you know, you know, the cool. thing about the dangling carrot, you never catch it. See what I mean? Because it's and, it's, and it's, fully it's figured that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Five years in, he <laughs> bounced the fuck out. I wouldn't learn my lesson till later, right? Do you do you do you have a dangling carrot in your life right now? Do I have a dangling carrot yeah, yeah, in my yeah. life? Um, this show is my dangling carrot. Well, here's my thing. Cause you got to have hope. You got to uh, have yeah. something to go for. And you got, so the dangling carrot is good in its ways. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you got to go after something or you're just going to be fucking lazy doing nothing. Yeah, this At least you're is, lazy yeah. doing something. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Going after the dangling yeah. carrot. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, when yeah. you're on pause and do nothing that you really fucking uh, yeah. go nowhere. This so, is my dangling carrot right here. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. It's going to keep you, and it's been keeping you moving but forward. But i never for, catch it. Huh? Well, like I said. The carrot's not there. You ain't doing nothing. Well, hold on. It's like a million dollars. We both want a million dollars, right? But the thing about the dangling carrot, you can catch the dangling carrot. You just got to be smart. You got to lay on your back and let that shit come down into your mouth, dude. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this guy's got a porno no, thing. No, 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 no. Look, look. The carrot's hanging over. I just don't want to hear the dribble hey, story. That's for no, damn no, sure. Hold on. The carrot's hanging here, and you just lean back, and you go, oh, I got it. So you got to be smart to catch the dangling but carrot. Somebody's holding the fucking other end, bro. So you no, can't the dangling just... carrot's attached to your to your to your just right here. It's attached to you right here. That's not what a dangling carrot is. What's the dang... A oh. dangling carrot is when somebody's got it like a fishing pole and the bait. Oh, is the okay, carrot. okay, okay. So somebody else is in control of this fucking carrot, okay, and so if that... it even goes in your so fucking then, mouth. So then this is a gay thing that that you thought I was saying, right? So what the dangling <laughs> carrot to me is like it's attached to your head and it's in front of you, and you keep running to get it, right? But, but you could just grab it if it's attached to you. Well, I mean, I'm assuming I'm a dog you, or, or an animal, dude, or a rabbit. I don't you know. You got a dildo glue <laughs> to your forehead is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just don't know how to take it off. That's a whole different fucking thing. Yeah, dangling. it's one. That's a dangling dildo. I got the dangling dildo. dildo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers to that hey, one. At least we ironed that out. You know, you know what I fucked up when I said in the mouth? Yeah, right? you win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I was trying to be cool about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, some people, I'm sure it's cool to them. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Sean yeah. saw an opportunity working with me, and we both got great, and we both hit it off. Um, and same thing with him. It, actually, Sean would be the reason why we would start getting other concert tickets. Oh, he, yeah? he already kind of knew some people who had been working his position yeah, for yeah. a little bit, the little bit of time he was over at 107. And um, he ends up reaching back to these promoters and, a lot of them were willing to give us tickets to like shows in Tacoma and Seattle. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I, that's where I really appreciated Sean more than I did just on air with me because he really was a plug. Well, you know, you know what, what? dude, dude, uh, Sean, since well, since uh, for the backpack for the uh, backpack for barbers or was it? Yo, I mean, right off the bat, the motherfucker's a grinder, dude. Yes, he's gonna work it. He's gonna he's gonna work it. So I I could I could imagine him getting. Free tickets and everything. I mean, yeah, it's what it's what he it's what he does, right? And 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 we would fall back on that every time a a, a so called dream promotion would fail. We would resort back to that, and yeah. um, we became great friends, man. I taught him a lot about radio. We learned a lot off each other. We became a great show. We weren't number one together yet, yeah. but the snowball effect for me and Foley had trickled over to what me and him yeah. were doing. And well, now and now there's a sidekick with my energy on my team. Because I was and, more but, with the energy and, and, and Foley was more kind of reserved. In this relationship, you're the A one in this relationship, right? And, and you're, you're A two. You're you're in charge. You're you're running the helm. You know. But I gave him a lot of responsibilities to earn his keep, and he would. You but know I, mean, I mean, hey, he's a hustler, dude. Yeah. He's out there. He's grinding. Yes. He's like I, you I probably. Love, I love Sean. I always will. That's my radio brother. So is Foley. That's my radio hey, brother. We stay in touch until this if day. He, if he's out there trying to raise money. I'll say if he's out there begging for money, I was just a joke from earlier. But if he's out there raising money for kids or barbers for backpacks, whatever, is it for kids, right? It it was it was uh barbers for backpacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So uh, he got together with a group of barbers through this fundraiser. Oh, that's together. cool. I'm a barber. I give him the money. And you're right. And and the team of barbers yeah, yeah. kind of put all their talents together yeah. to go do this car wash. I I was booked that day at National yeah. Night Out or something. I think that day, and uh, I didn't go by. But I we got our own. Yeah. Uh, we call it Project Glue Stick at our job. Yeah. It's our own back to school fundraiser. So I had already donated money and yeah, washed yeah. my car the day before. So, but yeah, I but, shared the flyer and I let people yeah, know but, that it was there. But the thing is, the thing is, if he's out there in the heat, yes, and he and he's a public figure, yeah, he's out there on the street and there's he's out there where the guy he's at the mega the also there's that guy with the megaphone. He wears the Jesus sign. He's all Jesus walks up and down and yells at everybody. Mm-hmm. You see the guy. I didn't go that day, man. No, I know, but no. Normally, there's but a guy. But I know who you're talking about. There's yes. a guy, yeah, and, yeah. And but he was there. <laughs> yeah, but it's Sean the Don's out there, out there, like in the heat, getting money for people. Hopefully, he didn't pocket that, that shit, Sean. You dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh shit, man. I don't know, but you know what? That I, was just I mean, fucking up, dude. That dude's willing. No, Sean's that, got a great that heart, dude, man. That dude's willing to do whatever it takes. So just just to push it, just yes. to grind it out, you know. Yes, and he did. He we would do that for like the next. And I'm saying all of these good things about him, so he could come on the show. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's nothing. I can make that I'm happen joking, right I'm now. Joking, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I'm making jokes though. So. But but yeah, he we, we did that for the next ten years. You know what I mean? You and guys were on the show for ten years. We did about ten years together. Fuck, yes. that's like your best friend, then, huh? Yeah, we 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 love each other. Oh, We've wow. been through some ups and downs. You know, like everybody who's close friends with anybody has ups and downs. Um, I had ups and downs with Mitch last week. Fuck you talking about <laughs> Mitch, I'm status. Yeah. I had ups and downs with him last week. Where were you guys at? Well, he was well the uh, let me get some down. You're dude. drunk, homie. No, 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 no. You no. talking some wild no, shit. No, no, no. Watch so watch. I don't want to be talking about no made up shit if we're gonna I'm not making there. this up, I'm not making this up. All it's right, funny. then. So, so in this kind of the dumpy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here, you're gonna make me a drink or what, dude? Don't know how to make no fucking dude, drinks. Put some, I put, just drink, bro. Put some ice in there. Come on, dude. Yeah. Motherfucker, <laughs> act like I'm a bartender, up bro. Like I went to bartending school. Yeah. I've been doing bartending for yeah. 20 years now. Well, hey, I you want me to get you a shaker or what, dude? The fucking salt shaker. Just put some ice in there and get some. Motherfuckers guess, got their guests making them drink. I'm with that, bro. Hey, I mean, drink. my brother left. I don't know what happened to him, dude. You want to top this off with ice? Uh, yeah, I mean, what what? Do the best you can, dude. Okay? Well, I just don't know how much ice you. I don't like a lot of ice in my drinks because they get watered down. But I like a lot of ice in my drinks because then that means I drink less soda. There you go. All you right. Some Red Bull. Uh, I'm asking for too much now, or no? Don't worry. The, bar- <laughs> the bartender's got. <laughs> sugar free or what? Oh, sugar free. Yeah, yeah. This one or the sugar no, free? not that one. That's the watermelon one. Honestly. <laughs> Motherfuckers, man. These okay. guys are hilarious. Hey, so Chase out here. So watch, Mitch, Mitch, uh, so the deal was... Mitch, Fuck, don't give me ever none of this yeah. shit right here. Ever. Well, I'm glad... That, you know what? You really you really excited. You're like, oh, that was a good grift. Yeah. Well, I would eventually sip it with some, uh, yeah, yeah. some pop and, you know, eventually. But I, I'm not a liquor guy. Let, I me, ask, let, me, ask you, let me ask you a question. Like, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i asking questions all day, but... Uh, here, actually... You want me to put it back in here? Back up. Do you think you're going to read that uh, Howard the Duck book? I'm definitely going to take it to my brother's house. We're going to reminisce. We're probably going to rent Howard the Duck the movie. But you're not going to read it, huh? Uh, I might. I, I, you know what? Let me tell you something about reading. Um, So uh, this summer, I decided to uh, start reading with my kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we, yeah. read like, we read like two, three pages a night because I know it's not their favorite I've thing what? to do. Uh, just children's books. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, third, reading fourth stuff, grade, huh? The three, third, fourth grade level stuff. What grade myself. are they in? My son will be fourth grade this year, uh-huh. and Cha Cha, she's not. She's going on four, or she'll be four this year, going on fourteen. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? She's a bad motherfucker. But um, th- we we fell in love with reading, and so I'm gonna read this book to them. Actually, you, you know, you, this is how I got my kids into reading. First of all, I read all the time. Good. And and I purposely read while my kids are playing video games, so they see me reading. Got you. And then so they're like, oh shit, I can I want to be like that, or whatever. And also, a I told of the influence there. Yeah. Yes. So then I told them, I said, hey. Every book you read, <laughs> yo, yo, you're the drunk one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I gotta be. This is my second beer of shit. Yo, but uh, I tell my kids, every book you read, 10 bucks. I'll give you 10 bucks every book you nice. read. Nice. And I said, look, you, you know, you want to buy a new video game? You want a skin Here's for how you can do You want to buy a skin for a Fortnite? Read four books in a month. It's 40 bucks for you. You could get the battle pass. 
you get whatever skin you want. Just read a book. You Good tell me. Do that, Dad. You Good tell me what the that. book is. And you know what? Shit, dude. If my kids read, uh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, ten books a month. It's money well spent. Yeah. Because yeah. because reading books, it's you. It's a you. You have to live that. You have to live those words in your mind. It's imagination, and it's fucking. It's way different than watching a movie. You know. Reading, yeah. It's it's called um, theater but, of the mind. Yeah, is what but it's but called. also like not reading's also good because like say you want to build a shelf, right? And you buy the shelf, and you have the instructions. Yes. And you can't understand what they're saying to you or how to how they're explaining. Until to you, you read it. No, but yeah, but if you're not if you're not no, a normal reader, literate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, if you because a lot of people read pages and they don't know what they just read. Got you. So so you can't read you can't read some words and understand what what. Oh yeah, thank you. You can't read the page of the instructions and understand what to do, but because you've read and you're interested in a story, whatever you you take in everything that that does read to you you know right right so or that you read so and it's good for you to stay sharp mentally yeah. anyway and and my kid is aut- is on the autism spectrum yeah, so yeah, his yeah. favorite thing isn't to read and so i'm trying to get him in the habit of reading this is going to be a perfect book to what? change it up cuz I, I, I'm noticing it doesn't have like big crazy no uh, no no that that one could get and... that one get a little wordy. um l- what is your is what is your kid into does he like anime um bro Fortnite mainly. I got oh, yeah, Pac Man yeah. recently. I okay. bought no Pac Man. You like game. Fortnite? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna give you a. Or is it Fortnite? What's the other one? What's the other one? I think it's Minecraft. Minecraft. That's the Minecraft? One. That's the shit. That's but he likes shit. Fortnite. He'll do that too. But Minecraft is his thing. He likes that. I'll he likes that. building. Yeah, and crushing, destroying shit. I mean, his Legos are. We. I literally had my mom eventually told me, "Mijo." We got to get him a table to put up all his Lego stuff because he's got so many Legos you, you, he built. You know what, dude? Watch this. Your son, he he he's like a builder, dude. Yeah. He sees things in a different light. Absolutely. Probably probably like three dimensional, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. And he's probably like, "Oh, he probably dissects things like, "Oh, how does this work? How do I piece this together?" He's like a mechanic. Dude. And and he reads the instructions. He built yeah, yeah, yeah. a whole Lego yeah, yeah, yeah. uh grocery store bro and he did it himself Dude, that's beautiful with that's the beautiful. stickers i mean you li- he literally had yeah. to put together the wheels even on the shopping cart i mean the whole Dude, line bro that's beautiful because watch the world needs those people yes. because you know who those people are those people, they're architects. Dude. Yeah, the builders, man. They fucking they 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 fucking map out the entire city. Absolutely, you know? and and that and it's just cool, man. So that's I am gonna read this book, and I'll probably I'll even. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. I was gonna say if you're not gonna read, it, I'll tell you. I'll spoil it for you right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, as long as I don't have no cuss words, you know what I mean. I don't remember right. Howard the Duck cussing, well, but yeah. I mean, uh, isn't isn't Howard a little dirty? I mean, he's probably PG thirteen <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go through it myself and then figure it out. But Howard how the Duck. He and this one, he okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell bartender, I'm already doing your yeah, fucking yeah, job, man. Hey, no wonder the Korean uh, uh, man got the last job. Hey, so check oh. out. So, Howard the Duck in this story, it's this one's kind of sad oh, because man. Howard, he, Howard so Howard, he, you know, he's from a duck planet, right? Correct. And he's like, dude, I don't want to be here on earth anymore. I want to go back. I want to go I back. I want to go with you, Howard. <laughs> no, I want to go back home. I want to go to my duck world. So then he finds a way to oh, go. Check my drink. No, this is mine. No, oh. I just made him know. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this exactly. Is, so are we doing this thing like who did the what for what? <laughs> Which or, one's better? Uh, Which one's better? Are that. we doing this game with like, drink. oh, you did this for me, but then I did this for you? Is that, that what we're gonna play now? Try that drink. Which one's better? I didn't make him the drink. I just put <laughs> ice in that motherfucker. So <laughs> I was joking. I do it to my girl all the time. But watch <laughs> this one. This one is kind of sad because Howard's like, I just want to go home. Right. I'm not from here. Everyone likes me here. I'm sad. I'm upset. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. And then he finds a way to go home. And then everyone's like, no, don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave us. We need you. He's all, I don't care. I don't right. want to be here. Right. I want to go back with my Howard. friends. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. blame fucking Howard. And, and it, sucks. it gets pretty sad. But then it gets even sadder because. <laughs> all right, let's not ruin it for uh, me and my kids, can we? Uh, Fuck. I mean, he wants to read. He wants God to read. Damn. damn, dog. So, yeah. Let um, live. But, you know, that's what you get out of books, dude. And you know what? It's fundamental, hey, they say. Hey, for 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 uh, birthdays or whatever, I give his children uh, books for uh, birthdays uh, yeah, yeah. and 
Christmas, I know. Fire, fire, fire for firewood. Fire yeah, fire cause, yeah no, no, oh, shit. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, what do you guys do? You like Stranger Things? I'm going to buy you a nice <laughs> oh, Stranger yeah. Things book or whatever. Oh, and then, yeah. But you know what? I follow up. I said, like, did you read that book? <laughs> oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. They're uncle, all yeah. uncle checking in. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, hey, well, you, if you don't read it, give it fucking back. And I told, and I give him books too. I'm all, bitch, you don't read my book, you better fucking give it back right now. <laughs> yeah. Like now. Yeah, the, the one I regret not reading is that, um. Yeah, you're a third back, uh, dude. Incredible. How about Billy, Re- how about uh, Beta Ray Bill? I read, I read it, I told you I read it. I had it in the truck all the time. Relax, Holmes, relax. relax. Hey, local, this is serious for me. Oh, I thought relax. Hey, you better read that shit. You better read that hey, shit, Blaze. You know what, Doug? But I respect the man who really does, uh, you know, take literacy you know, to the heart because he practices mm-hmm. it and he knows how uh, fundamental it is. Well, you know what? I This is just something I care about. And, yeah, you, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. like, for example, you care about us on this show. If you if we if you said continue doing the show like we will and we didn't post any what shows. If, yeah, and you're like, where the where yeah, the fuck yeah, your shows at? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Hopefully after thing. this, we start seeing some merch. Uh, These guys start wearing a shirt next. Yeah, yeah, I got to come with shirts. I'll bring a dozen. You need to get some polos because I can wear the shit on my job. dog. I can wear whatever. He's a mailman now. Mailman, dog. Hey, watch this. Hey, hey. That no, money. no, don't do that. Don't do that. This motherfucker is a uh, government worker. He's federal now, bro. We can't fuck <laughs> with him, bro. He's federal. I'm hey. government. Yo, yo, Blaze, he works for the enemy, bro. <laughs> he's, he's feds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? Hey, I had hey, I had so much shit today for the shit I was posting. Oh, you had the, you had the feds now, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know what? It ain't coming yeah, on I time. I don't I just met him <laughs> right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how much, you know, hey, how long have we been waiting for our packages to come through? They never show up. <laughs> they never show up. Well, guess bro. who got them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. I didn't even touch a package yet, and I got them all already. Hey, you be driving on the other side of the thing. the other side of the thing. Wrong side. But, yeah, back to Sean and the backpack thing. And, man, I'm proud of him. He continues to strive and, and, and everything he Sean, tries to do. Told him I told him. This, I told oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he told us at my mom's house. So he came down. Everyone's like, what the, the fuck? fuck? On the dog, he was on the street. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, great man. I love him hey, and his energy, you know. And you guys had a good show together, too. You know what? When I sit in a person last skinnier than he looked online oh yeah yeah he looks like he's trimmed down i don't know if his wife don't feed him or what but yeah, yeah. that's good that's a the good thing little a good in, dude yeah. i don't know yeah, yeah. No, um, hey, no, that, that was a good show that, that was yeah all right his energy he ends up filling my slot yeah, very well yeah, thank man. you for the transition there we can get back to that story yeah <laughs> and, and yeah you know me and him would go on roughly i could say 10 years man we would go on and and, and fuck shit up and was he fatter back in the day oh yeah he's a fat ass man he's <laughs> a fat <laughs> Cause right now, cause cause I seen him today. He looks stuck in. I was like, it looks like a guy who used to be fatter. Yeah, that's him. That's him. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> hey, you know what? Shout out, dog. Hey, 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 yeah. No, I, I love Sean the no, dog. Man. He knows that. that. And you know, unfortunately, a tie, an end would come to our yeah. you know show how, as well. How, how did it end? Amical breakup or no? Uh, well, I don't even know if he knew he was gonna leave or what. You know, Sean liked to drive without a license his whole fucking life. And hey, you know what? We can relate. And reminds me of somebody. Reminds me of somebody. I'm not trying to put his business out there, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows that Sean. <laughs> maybe he does have a license now, but then uh, everybody knew because he would have to get a ride here and there. I'm going to ask him when he comes in. You got your license? Are you? Are you, <laughs> you gonna gonna ask him. <laughs> That's a whole other reason why we didn't hire him back. It's like, bitch, you can't even drive the work truck. Like, why the uh, fuck do I look like? Uh, can't even do that. Yeah. Is it an SUV or what is it? Putting uh, too a much man, shit it's out a there. Man, it's but, uh, you would know, huh, fanboy? You would know. What? 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 Honestly, um, you know that man get good mileage or what? He ends up. He ends up. Why is it a van? Why is it a van? The biggest vehicle to put the biggest sticker on. We had the van at that. Time. Listen, you're still sucking 99.7's dick, yeah, bro. Yeah. You're still fanboy. Oh, I know, I know. I like it. I love it. Well, hey, he's the only hey, one on now. I got. Just him. I got. It's just is plays. it just you there? Just I got plays. so many bitches in that van. <laughs> oh, oh, let's Sorry, go. Let's go. I got so many. <laughs> hey, you just slide that door open and fucking get in, girl. <laughs> and check it out. We upgrade our vehicle eventually hey, 20 years later. You get, hey, hold on, Blaze. After you get with those bitches, you send them home with a sticker or what? <laughs> Actually, it's the other way around. They send me home with a sticker. You know what I'm or a gift a gift basket like fucking Derek Jeter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'll give you a shout out on Sunday night. Blow Jay. Double yeah. bath bombs. Wait, Sunday night slow jumps on 97? Oh, my God. It's hilarious. Sunday night slow jumps on 97 or no? Uh, it is now. I, I have it now. They Let's, gave it up. Hey, hit us with a Sunday night slow jam uh, something right here. 
So key sweat. Where say say hold on say shout out shout out to shout out let's let's make something up here. <laughs> you you want me to mimic what slow jams does? Because I can do that. Yeah, 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 oh boy, yeah, yeah. R dub. That's yeah. my big shout, homie. Shout out to uh yeah, let's come up with a crazy name. Let's, let's see. Let's uh, see, let's uh, see, let's see let's oh Tamara. <laughs> shout out to Tamara from Seattle. All right. And and, oh, and, and okay. yeah, yeah. shout you're out right. to Tamer- Tamara. I see where you're doing. I see, where, I see where you're doing. <laughs> I don't know. This is my son here. This Cameron. is birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Hey, hey, birthday. hey Kevin, Happy birthday Kevin, you. Kevin, you know Tamara? Uh, All right, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. You know Blaze? Hey, Tamara is a made-up person in our family. I say, oh, we're going to Tamara's party tomorrow. You don't want to come? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I get try to get my kids to hang out with me. Uh, well, okay, so shout out, say shout out to Tamara. Happy birthday! In my voice or the Sunday night? Oh, the Sunday, Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night. Don't want me to make me make that. Um, <clears throat> it's hot, ninety nine seven. Oh, yes. let's go. This is Blaze Dub. Evenings, <laughs> that key sweat record. <laughs> Something <laughs> just ain't right. Was <laughs> going out to Tamara from. Seattle Julio G. <laughs> Julio G says he really wishes you wouldn't have wasted his time. Oh, there you go. And really wishes you wouldn't have left your phone unlocked <laughs> on the couch. Anyways, let's move on with our next <laughs> oral <laughs> expression. Oh, it's a... 99 so I don't have to... <laughs> Now, this going to be me. I'm going to use that gravel voice. There like, you go. Yep. Like, yeah, That's it's hot. 99.7. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to really put it in there. But yeah, you know, uh, me and I, 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 I fucking brought yeah, this bro. I wear yeah, yeah, it yeah. very rarely, so man, I'm I'm, I'm uh, not yeah. with this look today. <laughs> you know what? This is a shirt I wear. This, you know what? Eat, this, hey, yeah, beat my meat. Hey, hey. Oh no, it's just Yo. me beat me even if, even if it's gold, it's, it's still it's still very colorful, still fresh, and dude, cool. my badass hey, old school hey, feeling. I ain't never seen you wear no ghost face. Well, I had to. I had to. I had to. Blue and white. I had to. I had to because last time. Apparently, shit. apparently, I'm I'm a soft boy because I want to. Two squad definitely toughened up over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you softened up, huh? Yeah. I'm wearing my dicky shorts though, so I, I don't know where you're talking about, but okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's you go. Know what? Next time we come back out, we're all gonna be swagged out next time. You know what? Let let's color coordinate next time. Let's color coordinate next time. Next time. Are we all wearing uh uh? What are we wearing next? Time? Reflected. I hope, I right? hope you guys wear your fucking. Yeah. I'll tell you that fucking much. Hey, hey, hey I got too. Hot. I got too hot. Dude. Fuck, I, my, fuck, I'm that, fuck that. the shirts you got on. It yeah. better say I'm was stupid or something yeah. on there. I got too hot, dude. At this point, two years and you still ain't ripping you. Like I don't know, man. You gotta step up. So 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 okay so. Let's see. So here, yeah, let's let's take my 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 uncle Magic Don Juan right there. Yeah, so yeah, we can yeah. hear this right. Oh yeah, I got the sound going over here. Yeah. So okay. Magic Don Juan with Arsenio Hall here. Well, <laughs> no, this is this race. This is uh uh Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man. Oh, that is Macho Man. What the hell? That's so Macho, Macho Man. I got my shades on. That is Macho yeah. Man Randy so, Savage. So Macho oh, Man. Yeah. All right. Hey, he's gonna say something. Oh, you got it here. Oh, you know got it. You got it. I can hear. You can hear, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I can hear. This shit on too. All right, okay. We'll put it on the back. Well, this guy got way drunk. So, no so, more than Julio. So, so Macho oh, Man says, "Red Don Julio." So our Sir Han, our Sir Hall, our Sir Hall says, "Hey, Macho Man, you're Macho. Do you ever cry?" Yeah. And Macho Man says, "A perfect answer for that." Watch this. Look. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Can you hear? <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. Hey, R.I.P. Macho Man, dog. R.I.P. Macho Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fire! Right? Fire! Right? Wow. You know, I I love and respect Macho Man. I love Hulk Hogan. Aside from aside from what they Macho did Macho Macho just for the WWE uh, WWE Entertainment World when I was growing up as a kid, oh, off the camera yeah. when he would talk game, oh, yeah. you could oh, tell he was, oh, he was he's off. talking game. You could tell oh, he's Macho he's Man is not a bitch or a chump, yeah. and he definitely comes from where he said yeah. what is it? up, down low, and it, in between. He's been with the snakes. He's been with all. And he he said it's the. He's, he, it's ma- what's Macho is showing all emotions. Oh, yes. he's, hey, he's preaching. Uh, he's preaching. Oh, I love Macho Man. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Macho is showing all the emotions. Oh, yeah. 
Watch, look at him. He's like, yeah, I cried, baby. Yeah. 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 Pause that for me real, real Pause quick. Pause that. Listen, let me tell you why it is important. Because mental health is mental wealth, right? Like health is wealth. And I always feel like if you're not. You know, you got a little macho in your throat here. I do. Oh, you <laughs> Listen. So, yeah. give, give me a little. Give me a little. Yeah. yeah give me a little. Give me a little. Give me a little. Yeah. Bone some, girl. Bone some. Let me tell you something. It is macho to cry. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I've yeah. been called by one of my radio peers, which is. He even has his own radio day here, uh, uh, Lou the Professor Bartelli. He's been doing radio for like 40 years, I think. Dang. And he one day told me, he's like, you know what, Blaze? I got, I, I'm going to name you. I said, well, I already got a radio name. He's like, nah, you're, you're the young wolf man Jack. He told me like that. Do you know how special that made me feel, bro? Who's Wolfman Jack? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a classic 70s uh, radio oh, jock wow. who radio. turned into radio icon. He would get into radio. He had this jockey. Show. They call it radio jockey. Uh, Wolfman Jack. You hey. call yourself a jockey? No, I'm a DJ. I'm a DJ. D DJ is this jockey this, though. This DJ is this, this jockey. jockey. And reason it's called a so you this be jockey. Jockey, huh? <laughs> jockey the disc, yes. <laughs> no man, mental health is so important, man. And you can only be tough for so long. You can't. I don't. No. Who you are at night? Oh yeah. Let me tell you something. Night during the day. Listen to me. Oh, yeah. I cried the other day and was drinking my. Dropping my kid off at school at eight in the morning, <laughs> and it was a night, and I was crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Why? You just... Why? Because you know what? Because we were never told to cry. Because you know, because you're, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's and okay to cry. We were never allowed to cry when we were young. It's okay yeah. to cry. <laughs> <laughs> and and so, if you gotta let it out, or you end you up doing some out. postal shit, or some oh, shit you regret, or hey, 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 postal hey, shit. Hey, don't say postal. Dog. He's a mailman now. I'm a male. Hold man. on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. Don't the thing no more. Uh, yeah. You know, but back fucking in the son day, of Sam over here, man. Yeah, people going postal <laughs> because you can't uh, open oh, up yeah. and yeah. things out. You hey, feel? It's funny. It's funny because you know why people say they go postal because son of Sam. To, no. Well, from, uh, it was the postal guy that went yeah, nuts. He went nuts he and shot, shot up everybody. That was people. the first. He went postal. That was oh, a that son of Sam. That was the real first massive yeah, killings yeah, yeah, that started happening. People going postal. It was the postal guy. He went post. Well, well, Newman's, and I, and I just Newman's, about that. Newman's yes. pretty crazy as well. Yeah. Newman's pretty crazy. <laughs> so Randy Macho Man is correct. You got to let it out. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you got to rewind it, dog. Dude, where did the site then? <laughs> hey, one video for shit. 20 minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but also, Arsenio, that's a great question. Yeah. Your macho, you ever cry? Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah. And Arsenio already knew that yeah, he... he He's been through his up and ups and downs mentally, oh, yeah. and so that's why he's asking that question. Uh, I, I I wouldn't know yeah. why else he would ask that fucking yeah, question yeah, to no, one of the shit. toughest people in the whole fucking planet. If he's not, you know what I mean? he's just trying to get a reaction, trying to get something. Or, or maybe it maybe Macho Man's like was gonna say, "Hell no, I'm the most no. macho man in the uh, world." No, but it's being macho to be like, I cry in movies all the time. I do. That is macho. you do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. This is a question we ask every guest. <laughs> Lately, I've been crying like every other day. <laughs> okay, okay, well, okay, but what was the last movie you cried on? Ooh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. The other day, we were well, you never it. lie. You never lie. You no, don't have to say that. You don't have to say that. I'm fucking forty. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> motherfucker, bro. Ever. Um, I was watching. God, it's called Red Fox on Netflix, and this little girl, and her history or family line or what a family tree yeah there's this red fox like energy that goes from woman to woman to woman wait wait hold on you're talking about that's on disney disney oh, plus oh it is disney plus, plus. Oh, yeah, yes that's the disney plus so that's you cried on that movie but let me tell you when that's i about cried period that's about their period that's it's about, about period, period dude yeah. i cried when she was finally this red fox and she couldn't hide it no more and her friends Friends find out, uh -huh. and they're supposed to go to this concert. Not to ruin this whole thing, but <laughs> no, ruin they're everyone. Gonna wants to ruin. They're gonna go to this concert. I hated that, hey, but hey, she hey, doesn't. Hey, we got daughters. We got. Daughters. I can't believe you cried on that movie. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so but it's yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know it really, is, but not. Uh, I'm literally sitting there with my two kids, and they're all into it, so I'm into it. Yeah. And they're supposed to go to a group concert, like. I don't know, in sync or backstreet boys of them. A BTS? Oh, I want to ask you, what do you think about BTS, dude? Get money. Hey, I mean, get him, money. Hey, Fuck what up. I think. Uh, so um <laughs> she doesn't want to go. The the main character, the red fox, she's finally a full-blown red fox. 
and she doesn't want to go because she's like embarrassed, doesn't know how people are gonna act. She's like, you guys go. This is about period. No, bitch. It is. It, it is. is. It is. Not this part. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. So. <laughs> oh shit! I, I'm, I'm not letting sends, you talk now. Hell yeah. She yeah. sends them. I got you. She tells them go without me. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The red fox because she's. Well, Why do that all the time? What to do? La la la. <laughs> go without me. And you her don't... friends are like, no, we're not gonna go without you. Does that, that in reference with you in your relationship? Yeah. Yeah. My girl's like, I'm um, gonna get if somebody up. loves you, they don't leave you behind. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I tell her, two, no, you fucking go. No, two, <laughs> I don't want to, you go. Two, they don't just be like, yeah, fuck you, bitch, we're gonna go. Or I do it, go. I do it. Oh, you wanna go? I'm out, bitch. They're not over here like, we're gonna drag you. They're like, no, we're gonna make you feel like us again. And they start beatboxing, and the song come on. It's so cringe, it's cringy. That was cringe. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 but, 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 that, but that hit you, yeah? Bro, you guys that's what real crazy. friends do. That's hey. what real fucking friends do, dog. Hey. Real friends do that. Real you know friends what? don't leave you behind, you know bro. What? I haven't watched that movie because... Hey, real because friends will leave you behind. <laughs> hey, Blaze, real friends will leave you behind. Let me put my thing. <laughs> no, listen. Real friends don't leave you behind. Yeah. Real friends will leave you behind. Because if In you're... moments like that. Now, I'm saying if... You fucking want to keep going to prison, and I want to go uh, there. Yes, I'm out. I, I'm out. I got to go. Yeah, yeah I do have to leave you behind. But, but, but also, also, if I say, hey, I don't want to go. I was a real friend because I gave you the opportunity to go with me. Yeah. No, but, hey, but watch you it. didn't want to go. Watch it. Hey, Blaze, if I tell Same you... thing like the fucking movie. Blaze. I was a real friend and gave you an opportunity. Okay, Blaze, Let's Blaze. Go. Okay, Blaze, well, watch this. If I tell you I don't want to go do that, uh -huh. and you say, well, I'm not going either. I'm not going unless you go. But I'm saying... I honestly don't want to go. But the and whole then, point was then if to you go. Make, but if you, but if you make me go, when I'm saying I really don't want to go, I don't want to be there. But and you're that making wasn't me the go. Now you're not being a friend to me. <laughs> that wasn't because the mission, okay. Though. So Red Fox didn't want to go, right? They were all supposed to go but until that, this But happens. then she didn't want to go, right? Until she got a period. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, then she didn't want to go. <laughs> and then they made her go. Like now you're not being a friend to me because I'm telling you I don't want to go. It's like the same thing when my girl tells listen, me. Listen. Listen. Hold on, it's like the same thing when my girl no, tells stop. me. Stop. Hold Shut on. The fuck up. No, no, no. Right. No, no. I'm talking. How much tequila have you had yet? Listen. Uh, uh, well, it's, mad it's, enough. it's like the same thing when my girl says you're mad as well. I'm not mad. Just, you're mad as well. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not fucking them. mad. But you are though. The whole time. No, fuck you. I'm not mad, bro. The whole time this group of friends have it set. They raised money together to get tickets to go to I this watched concert. the movie, dude. All right, so you're a dumb fuck thinking that the whole time she didn't want to go and they're trying to drag her. No. The whole but mission. But did she say she didn't want to The whole mission was to go, correct? So it's like you and the homies. Oh, well, we're going to do a podcast. Now all of a sudden you guys don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's the thing. Yeah. Having, the a, homies period, are like, having right. a period is a life. That change, you change your life after a period, bro. That was the yeah. podcast. It's like the first time you. Podcast. It's like the first time you jerk off. Like I'm not into. I'm not into fucking Pokemon anymore. But you're I'm changing, into jerking off now. You're changing the way this plot is because yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole time they raised all this money together as friends to the, buy the tickets to go. go. But then she had to point. keep it in secret because her family didn't want her to go. Okay. Correct, but you were 15, 16, and your so, parents so, didn't want so, to hold on, so, 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 so she went. So hold on. So she kept on a secret, and then she had a your guy, right? Oh, so hold on. She kept on a secret. Her family didn't want to go, and she had a period. She realized, like, oh, my family's right. I need to listen to my mother. I don't need to go down there. But why, though? Because she realized her family's correct. I don't need to go to this concert. You're wrong. But why, though? Because she's a big-ass fucking monster. She can't be at a concert, dude. No. Why not, though? Because she turned into a fuck. She could kill people out there. Listen. That is her concern, but it's never about the parents because she's already going to do it behind their backs. That's the reason they raised all well, this money. Well, she shouldn't have done that, dude. <laughs> if I'm going to turn to a monster... Know, I wish I would have seen this movie, uh, because I'm like... I'm trying, hey, I'm trying to, but you know what? I'm I'm I, the hey, but this thing... I I I'll, I'll give it to you, Blaze. I only watched half the movie, dude. I cried right there at that part. All right, <laughs> fuck you, motherfuckers. All right, let's go, let's go. Fuck you, Hey, hold on, hey, hold on. The last movie I cried on, I cried... Hey, and um, we're honest here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, what yeah. The, I, I, the last movie I cried on, I cried on. Uh, it's, it's a movie called Everything Everywhere All At Once. Well, hold on, let me wrap up what I had. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, yeah. I, I saw how that not only affected me at that moment, but I had flashbacks of all the times you had your period. I counted myself <laughs> out. Thank you very much. And my <laughs> brothers in my immediate CTM family, my street fam, yeah, were like, "No, you're the baddest motherfucker here." Yeah, yeah. 
and you're gonna continue to be the baddest motherfucker. And you know what? It kind of, it kind of, it kind of all rolls back to the point where like you didn't have that confidence in yourself, huh? Confidence, yeah, yeah, self confidence, yeah. And, and same some, thing with this gal; she had no confidence that if she could show up like this, that people weren't gonna trip, even though they were. But, but, but her friends, because they're real motherfucking down ass G's, real mo- hold the ten toes down like that for their friends. But, but there was this, if if my friend risked it for the whole biscuit, even and went. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me that ain't a real fucking problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who the fuck this guy is right now? <laughs> hold on, hold on. If my friend turns into a giant fox and and if she just moves her paw and she kills like three people, I don't want her. But she never killed nobody. To, well, she doesn't know what she's doing. But she, she never killed nobody, hurt nobody. If she turns into a big she ass, was, she actually ran from everybody because she was like Macho Man says she couldn't. <laughs> she should have ran from everybody because if, if she makes one move, she's gonna kill people. When did she kill somebody in the fucking movie, though, dickhead? That's all I want to know. When did she hurt somebody? She could have. If you have a if, if you have a big a ass Disney movie, oh, is that your concern right now? That yeah, it is my concern. If there's puss. if there's oh, I'm a pussy now. If there's if I'm a you pussy, you can go drunk to the next show. Listen, you can go uh, fuck go random go bitches with your fucking. Go on, your come fucking, on, come on, come on. What I'm not. Hey, hey, Blaze, I'm not sure if she's dick. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, you're uh, not scared. Dude. Listen, I you're told not, you ain't gonna bump no bump no bumps, no nothing. No bumps, no bumps, no coconut. But look, hey, but if if my friend turns into a big ass fox. Above everybody, tires everybody, and they just make one step and they're stomping on the people. I don't want that person in a big ass crowd. I don't want that to happen. That's like a fucking shooter in a, in, in a school no. shooter. There. An active shooter? No. Let me tell I'm you what you're Hey, so if you active. turn into a big ass fox and if you move one step and you stomp on three people, you shouldn't be around in a uh, big crowd of people. <laughs> Because she turned into a big animal. I always liked this motherfucker. <laughs> Today, bro, I really did. He's like going on some next hey, level hey, shit. Did she turn into a big animal? Did she turn into a big animal? A bear or a fox. A uh, fox. She turned into a big animal, right? She sure did. Why? So, Why? so, Why? so Why? she's a fox with claws, uh-huh. fangs. And she didn't have claws and she didn't have fangs. Oh, come teeth. on. Come on. Teeth and claws, bro. Come on. Teeth and okay, okay, fine. Was, is she bigger than everybody around her? And she was fluffy. <laughs> is she bigger than everybody around her? Hey, yes. She just hey, like hey, other women hey, are, bro. She was thick. But she, she, was thick. Like, oh, she was thick. She was thick. See, you're a dump bus. <laughs> hey, you got to go. Hey, you know what? to give him my Care Bears hey. DVD. What the fuck Hold is on. wrong with she, this? She's a literal bear in a, 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 Flower bed of rabbits, and she's like, "Oh, if I move anything, I'm gonna kill some rabbits." That's what she would kill. And she acknowledges that. And that's she why, acknowledges and that's that. Why that could be she issue. acknowledges that, and that's why she doesn't. We're arguing about uh, fucking uh, Disney movies. Hey, and that's why she part. loves it, and that's why she doesn't want to be at the concert, and that's why she shouldn't be there. It's not that she's scared you know to hurt you know somebody, Wade. Well, she I will hurt somebody, Vato. She's <laughs> scared <laughs> that people are gonna react like you're fucking reacting when yeah. she shows up. Yeah. So I'm yeah. reacting. Yeah. I'm reacting if a big monster uh, uh, regenerates uh, uh, out of nowhere as a thinner mall. Holy shit, that's the biggest that fox I've ever seen in my life. This bitch is gonna bite my face off. So, I'm out. So, okay, so hey, Shrek ain't shit. Sure. Donkey ain't happen. shit. Yeah. Motherfucking a bottle juice ain't shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. And the nightmare before Christmas hey, yeah, folks yeah, ain't yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. hold on, okay, okay, hold on. Shrek and Donkey, they live in a, in a fairy tale in a world. Swamp, bitch. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Optimus stop, Prime. Stop, think Optimus stop, Prime stop, stop, stop. No a fucking uh, Optimus uh, Prime. A uh, goddamn fool. Uh, uh, Alone, 18 uh, uh, Wheeler. Uh, Prime, dog. 18 Wheeler, you scared of him, but he comes to the Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? <laughs> Shrek and Donkey, they live in a fairy tale world. There's a gingerbread man. And so did Red Fox. Yep. <sighs> what? Yeah, there's a real there. <laughs> no, she went home. Well, yeah, she'll figure. <laughs> ask her what you get there. Listen, okay. This is your guy, homie. I'm this claim. I'm lying. I'm not even you know, claiming I, him. You know what? You know what pissed me off is like my son, me and my me and my wife. Well, not my wife, but my girl. You already bitch, called her your wife. My it's bitch, too late. my bitch, my, me and my bitch, up. me and my bitch in the same in the same room, right? <laughs> and I'm over here, and my son will come up to me. He's all, Dad, I'm hungry. I was all, weren't you just by uh, Aurora, your mom? <laughs> what, you got to go all the way outside of the house and ask me, why don't you ask her? <laughs> Same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, yeah. watch this. Okay, because <laughs> dad's got all the answers, man. Dad, dad. I know, all. except dad, for the dad, fucking dad. Disney movie move uh, answers. <laughs> this dude, dude, listen, listen. If there's, if you have a friend, Oh, okay. Okay, stop. What? No, I no, cried. I got 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 No, no, I got I got I got no, hey, hold on, I got I got it. Hey, hey, please, hey, please, hey, please. Let her stay. Hey, please, if you drink liquor, you you what are you a you're aggressive person, right? No. 
I, you know what? I pass out, and yes, oh, yeah, I yeah, turn yeah. into a crescent. Okay, okay so you're a crescent person, right? So I'm not going to say, hey, Blaze, come to the concert with me, and I'm going to feed you liquor, and let's see what happens. I'm not going to do that, right? But what her friends did, they said, but you are going to do this. You're not going to give me liquor, but you're going to take me to the concert so I have a good time. But 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 yeah. regardless, she's still going to turn into the fox at the concert. Well, so I'm not going to drink liquor, so I won't be the asshole. Uh, to fight everybody. I'll be the red fox, but I won't be the red fox asshole. But you can still hurt Now watch this. <laughs> we can rap. You're fucking guy's a dick. Anyway, listen, <laughs> shit, does, shit does go wrong. The mom shows up because she's mad that this fucking her kid ends up going, and she's a well. The mom's a dirtbag, dude. Bro, the mom is the biggest red fox of their whole family tree. <laughs> Disaster does happen, hey, unfortunately. The, hey, before you guys talk but, about the movie, the more I don't want to watch it. I'm don't like, watch it. It sucks, dude. That movie sucks. Like, dude. Fuck this guy. Hey, hey, watch it with your kids. Don't watch it with this dickhead. Bro, here, bro, man. I watched it with my children. My kids are like, this sucks, dad. It's fucking lions. Oh, I'm not. Let me bring my daughter back. I watch this it. with my nephews, my nieces. Nieces and my own kids, and not one of them have ever said that. <laughs> Every time at that moment, they all have a little tear dude, with us. Dude. We hug, hey, we well, kiss. You, you well, cry hey, on that movie? Hey, what was the moment? What, was, what, what, was, what did the, you cry on? What, what was the moment that made you tear? I'm not, I'm not gonna make I fun of no, no. Are you oh, fucking drunk to me? Hey, 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 stupid ass motherfucker. You just the movie. Okay, what? Yes, so. Red Fox is now a red fox. She can't hide it no more. Okay. She's a full-blown red fox. <laughs> okay. She's trying to hide from her friends who came to say, hey, it's time to go to At the show. At a concert, dude. Okay. No, it's okay. time to go to the show, so they go okay. pick her up. Okay. She can't hide from them. Okay. So she thinks that they're just going to spaz and freak, which they do a little. Who wouldn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they recognize that it's her, it's her voice, it's their best friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's down to her pits crying like they put all this work to raise all these funds to buy these expensive tickets so they can yeah, have a great yeah. time. Uh, and they love no. the guy at a, at a gas station. They're dude. like, no, uh, we're not going to leave you behind. <laughs> We've been doing, you put in so much work, we all put on work. She still doesn't want to go. Well, she shouldn't go. But listen, they're into music. They're into music. Uh, and I was a I, BTS style band. Huh? I, I didn't pay attention if the particular song they're doing. It was like right, a Baxter Boy band. If Insane. that particular song they're singing for their friend to cheer up is one of the records from this band yeah. or is something they're doing just to cheer up. I don't know that depth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a, a probably for the... Maybe. But they start... <laughs> one of them starts beatboxing. The other one starts making some noise. Dude, it's the other one starts like, fucking snapping their fingers. Hey, you really like it? It's and so they don't, so and they don't give up on their fucking friend, asshole. <laughs> they don't fucking give up on their fucking friend, asshole. And I cried. I so, fucking cried, bro. Hey, I believe that. I believe that. But sometimes you need to give up on your friend. You need to. Certain Stop friends. That. Stop because, that. you know, in order... this friend ain't done nothing wrong, Stop dick. That. All she did uh, was get her period. That was it. This friend ain't uh, done nothing wrong, bro. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You're right. Who is this fucking asshole, man? Hey, I'm, cons I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you there. But there are some friends where you have to be like, you know what, dude? I just can't there do this anymore. And we've all done that. We've all and had you know to do what? that. And, and when it comes to the Red Fox, yep, yep. she just has some situations that she, she couldn't control. She can't control that she's going to be a fox. She can. But but the thing is, if she's gonna be a giant animal in a concert, that's probably not the safest thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she... okay, but they went out on a limb, just like anybody who finally, whether you come out of the closet, whether you finally See? explain some skeletons in your closet. No, I'm just giving you scenarios of people I know who have been holding certain things for so long, bro. Uh, that that's horrible. Yeah, that's I... horrible. That I would be scared that I couldn't tell somebody that I'm either gay. Or I cry, okay, 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 okay. or or whatever the okay, fucking scenario I, 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 is. I'm I just using those because hey, it's kind of like you know what? I get recovered from now. That I, I know it give me a second, give me a second. I get recovered from now because wait, if, oh, now he gets it. Now this motherfucker, well, motherfucker. Well, hey, he's not ears, okay? No, but watch. Look, look. No, honestly, I get recovered from what I'm coming from. Let me say this. Let me say this. First of all, I get recovered from because you could be friends with somebody for a long time, and they can be like, hey, you know what? I'm not even into um uh, maybe I'm asexual. I'm not. I don't like being with. I'm. I'm. I, it's hard for me cool. to be. With. Hey, yeah, there's yeah. some people that don't even want to fuck outside their yeah. race. No, I know. That's I know. A whole I, other thing. I, Again, but, so many different but, ways. But, you but, can but hold on, this. Blaze. This is what I'm saying. I'm all. You're. You're absolutely right there. You're absolutely right there. Cause you're like, always right. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Who hired this book? No, anyway? you're. You're not always right. But hold on. Like you were saying there, because you're taking it in that aspect, right? Like, oh, someone comes out of the closet and they're like, I never knew you were this way. But I look at it as way well as like, if she's a fox and she's a big animal, she shouldn't be out of the concert. 
But, why, but I mean, why not though? She just a because she could, she could kill some but people. She how she ain't bit nobody, she ain't done no damage, she ain't she, done no harm to nobody. Like, she doesn't know how to control her new fox body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, she moves one thing and uh, now I understand if in the movie this girl like toppled over buildings, kill people. She didn't do that. Like she, Godzilla, no, she did that. But she didn't hurt nobody. No, she didn't topple buildings. She was cr trying to crawl her out. She's uh, knocking shit down. Uh, Thank God she didn't hurt nobody. How about yeah, that? But, yeah, yeah, but yeah. she doesn't know her body, so she shouldn't be at a concert. <laughs> but I give, well, her, I give her Blaze the same reason. Like, I mean, it's a metaphor for something. There's a friend coming out to you well, saying, I, I'm this way, and I get that aspect. I'm looking at it as more of a. Uh, but I mean, aspect. but I mean, how else are you gonna learn besides going out there and doing it? You gotta do it. You gotta fail. So she right? needs to. Gotta, hey, Blaze, did she crawl up buildings, knock buildings, and well, fuck gotta, up her I fucking mean, dojo, or whatever well, that she lives well, yeah, in? Yeah, look, 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 see, he does, he does it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, hey, but still, but hey, but it listen, could, but it listen. could be a metaphor for other things. Those, and I, those and, and learning, aspects. That's, that's if, learning. Hey, it could be a We're going way too deep in this movie. I was just trying to tell you the last time I cried. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's you know what? And I cried, and I'm not scared hey, to Hey, Blaze. Hey, Blaze. Hey, Blaze. I cried when DMX died oh, for like hey, Blaze. straight. Hey, Blaze. The the reason why we're going to this deep is because you did cry. You did have a feeling for it, did. and so it is deep. Like I I cried on stupid things as well. I cried when LeBron James won his first fucking <laughs> his first uh his NBA title. Wait, but that's not stupid. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, okay. So I, we all cried for oh, specific yeah. things. Hey, yeah, it's yeah. deep for you me, cry, it's deep for you, you cry, and then for you, you, you cry, that you when you cried, why. I'm not making funny that you cried in that movie. Yeah. I'm saying you she cry, shouldn't. You. She shouldn't have gone to the concert. That's all I'm saying. But but it's a metaphor. I gotta say it's a metaphor for other things where it's like oh. I didn't know my friend was this way, and we're still gonna accept my friend. There you go. And, and that's the, the lesson. There's and, a lesson. Yeah, and that's it why, ain't even. And that's why it affected it is, you. Right? It's a lesson here. You know what I yeah, mean? And, and that's, that's why it's. And that's, to that's me why. And I cry. That, yeah, and I get it, dude. Usually, usually Disney movies they do have an alternative. Yeah, they yeah. Have and, and, and and we need an alternate ending for this motherfucker over here. <laughs> no, no, God no. Damn. Yeah, but I, I look at it more practical. Like she shouldn't be at the concert if she's a big ass fox and she don't know how to control her body. But you look at it a different way. It's like, oh. She gotta, she, gotta she gotta be there. But listen, yeah, yeah. She, God damn, we're still talking about this. <laughs> she dude, already, that's, that's why they make these movies listen, so we can talk yes. about it, dude. But the kids at school had already accepted her. So her friends were just trying to convince her that, yo, the, everybody else has to accept that this is who you are. Yeah, I'm confident. But she yeah, doesn't know who she is, and not everyone's a giant fucking fox, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets it now. Yeah, She's a giant yeah, fox. Yeah. But no one knew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but people started knowing as the movie progresses. In the school, people already accepted her. She was cool. Remember, she gets invited to a party to to get it lit because it's boring. And then she runs away because she's still a fox, huh? No, the mom finds out that she's a fox doing there. She's at a party. Uh, uh, but the mom knows, hey, bitch, you can't be out well, here socializing if you're turning to a fox. Mom, the mom's the mom not, knows my mom doesn't it. know that she's a red fox yet. She's yeah. just. She's just like, yo, well, when the mom permission. finds out, she's like, you she can't be around a lot of people. She went out without permission is basically why the mom. Yeah, that's what permission. I'm saying. That's the problem. Well, then she should be mad. But you know what? It is a beautiful movie. But they've it been trying to raise movie. funds for these tickets, so she had to do what she had to do to go to this show. <laughs> it is a beautiful movie. This movie, has, this movie seems like it has a lot of metaphors. Everything's a metaphor. And you know what, Everything. Blaze, you caught it? You don't ever want to talk about metaphors with this asshole. I'll tell you that fucking much. <laughs> no, no. I'll I tell you the movie I cried on, okay? Yeah, yeah. Recently. Recently. All right? And I cry all the time. I'm a little <laughs> bitch, dog. I, I cried on a movie. It was called Anything, Anywhere, All at Once. <laughs> Best movie that I've seen the entire year. I cried on that movie. Uh, I cried, like, probably five times I cried on that movie. You're a bitch. A crying-ass little bitch. Yeah, dude, there's, there's a part of the I'm movie. I know that about you now. <laughs> yeah, there's a part of the movie there's where... There's nothing wrong with crying, man. There's no, hey, wrong with Macho crying. Man says it's okay. Have you ever... Hey, Macho Man says it's okay. I've, I've cried because I didn't want to kill a motherfucker, bro. Uh, I cried because it was better I cry. And just don't kill you, bro. Yeah. It's better I do that than to fucking kill you and throw away my life. Well, I, I think I'm the opposite. I've cried because I didn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've cried because I, I was like, I, I wish I would have died. Yeah. And I died and I cried. So, I honestly, I cry a lot. All the time. I'm very in tune with my feelings, you know? Good. But but the last time I cried, it was a, it was a, it was a daughter and, yeah. and mother relationship. And then it was there was two rocks. Two rocks sitting down. And there was no... Sound, and it was just it was just text on the on on the thing, and I cried, and I love that movie, the best movie that I've ever seen in the whole fucking year. But I cried a lot, dude. Honestly, I think I could cry like two episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, like two episodes ago I cried, you know. 
Hey, 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 this shit, this hey, shit therapy, dog. Hey, I'm not making, I'm therapy. not making fun that you cried. I'm just okay. trying to dissect the reason why you cried. Because I have to think about this well. Because because I cry so no, much. No, you sound like you shouldn't be crying over that bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to no, dissect yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. okay, but that's how I dissect it because <laughs> because I cry so much. I try to dissect like why am I crying right now at this moment? Yeah. But, so if uh, I say you shouldn't be, and then you tell me why. No, I told you why, and then you just went ballistic. Why <laughs> that, that, that bitch shouldn't be doing nothing with but, her life, but, right? But, you know what I mean? That's, like that's well, why that's why that's how I dissect it. But you know what? We all cry. Yeah. Macho yeah, Man Randy yeah. Savage, oh, he said yeah. it's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we all cry movies. And if Randy Macho Man and says it's okay, man, hey, he says hey, it's hey, okay to cry, Tyson and our fucking cry. retired MMA fighter. Mike Tyson can cry. Hey, you know, you tell me hey. you cried on me as a bitch, you oh, cried yeah. in that movie? Well, yeah, yeah, but hey, I still cry. What movie you, you cried on? You said you still yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it to, to bullshit right, you, so. Hey, Love and Thunder? Come on, dog. Love? Let me have this. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, 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 hey